What's up? It's your girl, Brianna B. And make sure y'all tune into the hottest podcast in the city, Shy vs. Everybody. Podcast episode number nine. This is the New Year's Eve podcast. Uh, got a couple of good peoples in the building. Nigga Hook Howard Stern behind the boards, you already know. Yeah. Got my nigga, a return guest. My nigga Cheesy the Champ, man. Hey, up, this nigga got no social media, but got way more views and likes than all you niggas. Y'all gotta step y'all game up for sure. No, I ain't saying no competition, man. Hey, you know, let's step y'all game. Y'all niggas ain't bring no lick, nothing. Step y'all shit up, bro. And. I got another homie of mine, been knowing her for a long ass time, my dog Chase West. What's up, what's up? What's going on? Well, since we know Cheesy background, give us, you ain't gotta give us your life and shit, but where you grew up at, you know what I'm saying, what's going on with you? Um, well, I grew up, I guess I kind of grew up um, on the west side and the east side, because I lived on the east side for a minute. Mm-hmm. And then um, my mom and my dad split up, I moved to the west side, I lived on Six Mile in Sussex. Okay. Um... I don't know. I was on West Side my whole life. Then when I got older, I moved to the suburbs. I thought that was hot. Mm-hmm. So. So you got brothers, sisters? Was you, was you at the crib with mom and dad? No, nah, nothing like that. It was, just, <laughs> it was just me and mom. That was ideal, but that wasn't the actual thing that went on. But I do got a brother. Okay. My dad remarried. I got a brother. He's 10 years um, younger than me. That's what's up. That's what's up. Can I, can I interject real quick? Go ahead, man. Mm-hmm. Like, you ain't, you ain't got to break it down, but like you said you lived on the east and the west. Can mm-hmm. you see the difference between east side and west side? Oh, niggas? Why is that same you, don't, you don't have to say like what it is exactly, <laughs> but it's just yes or no. I was is it a difference shit. between west side and east side, guys? Yes. Absolutely. No, okay. So what is it? That's a bad thing, a good thing? What up? It's a good thing. East side, east, I, east side guys is better. Oh. See, that's because my thing is with West Side. Niggas, east side represent. They, they always, like I said on the previous podcast, they gotta come outside with their motherfucking chain on and shit. Like these niggas gotta take the garbage out, looking fresh and shit. Like uh, East Side niggas go, go. And to me, I don't know about cheese, but West Side chicks always be kind of better than East Side chicks to me. East Side chick be coming out the crib with the bonnet on, motherfucking <laughs> fucking curls in their hair. West Side chick be looking straight, even though it might be a freak or a hoe, just like the East Side chick. But they got that shit a little covered up. They still might be hey, a freak or a hoe. Yeah, okay. They should be covered hey. up a little bit better than East Side chick. Okay. What you feel about that with East Side West Side chick like? Me, well, I think. Like, <laughs> I mean, is that true? I think East Side. It, no, it's some beautiful East Side women. I've seen some really cute girls that's from the East Side, okay. but they far and few in between. They just be raggedy. To Man, me. I'm not even trying to hate on them. Like, I'm talking about my son was in preschool. I'm going to the motherfucking school. Motherfucker got crusting eye boogers and they shit. Like, mm-hmm. dog, get your shit together, man. So since this is a New Year's Eve podcast, we gonna start off talking about some New Year's type shit. <clears throat> so uh, each one of y'all, you know, what I'm saying, give me y'all highs and y'all lows of this year. Ooh. If y'all, if y'all, you take, go first. I might say ladies first. Yeah, I said, you, first. Need, you need some time. No, I mean the high just do one and one. So I guess right. a high. Um, maybe I do that one last. I'm not sure. A low. <laughs> You know what my low was? I'm gonna tell you some personal things. All right, go ahead. We I guess that. my low was I was in a relationship with somebody for like a long time, like 11 years, Damn. and I ended it. Okay. So that was my low. All right. Um, we, I don't we, know we, what my we high get back was. To that one. Yeah. I mean, your high. I mean, I guess you could say a high shit. You here? <laughs> yeah. <I'm, laughs> you right. feel me? You know another, I'm still here. All right. You say 11 years. Like, yeah. Was that like just girlfriend boyfriend shit? Would y'all about think about marriage? Was it that? We got engaged. We was engaged, and um. How long was y'all engaged? Uh, not even a year. Yeah. Not even a year. Damn. See, that, I'm glad you said that shit. Mm-hmm. We gonna get to you, cheese. Hold up. But my thing is this, like. I ain't rushing. I was talking to my uh my girl, her, his her cousin, mm-hmm. and he was with his his girl for like eight years. Mm-hmm. He proposed and they got married. Okay. But he said as soon as they got married, it was a whole different type of person he was with. Like she just changed for the worse. Really? Yeah. So was it like when y'all got engaged? Were y'all cool before? Or like did some shit just led up and it was built up? 
you know what? It was like it, this, you know, figure 11 years shit. It was damn near marriage, you know mm-hmm. what I mean? So, we was living together the entire time. Yeah. Um, so it was like a build up, you know what I mean? Like you find yourself complaining about something or whatever, it don't get addressed, you sweep it under the rug. Yeah. That rug gets so high, you can't you can't ignore it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? So, shit, what was the last straw like, man? You know what? Like did he end it? You end it? I mean, I did. The last straw was the pettiest shit ever. You're not even going to believe it. Like, I was already, like, on the edge, like, about to jump. Like, yeah. you know, he basically blinked and I left. Like, at, it was like, that's basically how I kind of went down. It was some stupid shit. I'm not even going to tell you. Man. <laughs> so, I ain't trying to, you know what I'm saying, focus on my man. I don't know if he's going to watch this or not, but, you know what I'm saying, what, what's some shit he could have did, you know what I'm saying, make this shit last or make this shit go through all the way? You know what? If he would have just listened. Mm-hmm we wouldn't be in this situation. Because if he actually listened to what I was saying instead of listening to respond, mm-hmm. he would have heard me yeah. and I think he would have he would have did the things I was asking him to do. So you think he proposed to you <clears throat> just try to make you stay? Yep. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I've got to figure that shit. Damn, that's mm-hmm. crazy. Cause I know my son and mom, we was together for a little bit, but I'm glad I didn't propose. We ended that shit real good. <laughs> <laughs> and yeah. she, she said that if I proposed, that she would have she would have stayed. But my thing is, she wasn't in no marriage material. Right. So, you know what I'm saying? So I... That's why I'm like, man, fuck that. I'm good. Why you say she wasn't marriage material? She just didn't do shit that I felt like a wife, like somebody I, I feel my official wife should be. Like, she wasn't like, she was just a fucking follower and shit oh, like that, yeah. I say. Like, nigga, like, it'd be like some shit like, she couldn't just stay committed. I feel like she, I feel like she cheated on me a couple times. I know I did. <laughs> that's real <laughs> you know what I'm saying hey black men don't cheat yeah, hey, yeah, that's how I said <laughs> but I know she did some, black women don't cheat I know cheat. she did some little dirty shit I couldn't trust her like mm-hmm. if I felt like we gonna get to this on a later uh, segment but mm-hmm. if I feel like I gotta go to your phone I feel like if I if I feel like I can't trust you mm-hmm. like my mom said don't be with that person don't waste yeah. who you are her time okay. so after a while I'm gonna get to this story but I just had to I had to leave man you had to roll out All hell right. yeah and then like I say that that go when, when my highs this year I actually proposed to my girl and like I told Q and them before you came like I did that shit just off a of little shit my mom told me like mm-hmm. if it's dudes around your girl like father uncle mm-hmm. then she she might be the one okay. and because she know how to be a woman she know what to expect from a man yeah and she just was a she a real ass person she accepted my son shit she treat him like that's her son. So I can sit here, I can trust her with my son and shit like that. So I'm like, you know what? Shit, I got love for you. I love you and shit. So we might as well, you know what I'm saying, make this shit crap. We was together for four or five years and shit like that. So that's what's up. Shit, you got you got a drink to that, man. That's oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, shit, man. Yeah. I, don't, I don't think I'm supposed to do that drink before. So uh <laughs> so yeah, that's a high. Another one I coached, so my team we won a championship. <laughs> that was a high. That's what's up. Yeah, shit. Uh starting this podcast. That was yes. a motherfucking good moment. I've been talking about this shit for like three years and never did it. And shit, a low. Only thing I can say was a low was not having a job that I want as, as far as like money wise. Yeah, I've been looking for like a, like a motherfucker. I mean, I'm thankful to have a job to pay bills, but mm. look for something a little better. Right. So that's, yeah. that's like a low moment. What up, cheese? What's your shit? Uh, shit, the lows. Man, my motherfucking low was Christmas time, dog. <laughs> shit, for real, cause man, I got three shorties. Man, I made right. sure that shit was straight. Right. And then I was on some shit like I'm only gonna buy my kids something. Man, I fucked around and just, just I turned in a cheesy claw. So like, <laughs> buying everybody yo, something, it's just yo. like you get to looking at them up like a credit card statements and be like, oh shit. But it's like, man, shit, it's money, dog. Money fucking come and go. Like that shit gonna come back. Hell yeah. Right. As far as the highs, shit, man, just like constantly upgrading, dog. Like, cause I ain't trying to be in the same spot that I was last year. Like, cause I bought my crib in 2018, and since then, man, I've been making hella changes, hella improvements. I just be proud of myself like damn this this my shit. Yeah, like, what's up? For real, for real. Yeah, that's what's up, hey, but on another note, when you was like you keep sweeping shit under the rug, that yeah. rug get tall as hell. I was per- <laughs> I was processing that shit like damn that's that's some game right there. That's Man, real. Am I right real. about it? I mean, yeah. you know what I'm saying because because everybody sweeps shit under the rug. Yeah. But how much shit can you actually sweep under the but rug? But then before? but then I gotta look at why you didn't say nothing earlier. <laughs> what you mean? I did. Okay, cause my girl. I remember one time she got mad about some shit. And she, once you let it build up, mm-hmm. she just when it charged in my ass one day like damn if you had this issue let me know from day one mm-hmm. don't let that shit build up hey, but on some real shit sometimes they doing this as niggas we blow that shit off like man that ain't nothing that ain't nothing <laughs> cause I know, I know I've been the type of nigga like come on why you tripping right like, 
Why are you tripping? Like, what? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It ain't I've been there. I know. You yeah. don't think it's no big deal. That'd yeah, be the yeah. issue. That's why I just told you. What could he have done different? Listen. Yeah. The nigga don't listen. The niggas don't listen for shit, though. I no, they don't. I don't. But right. niggas, niggas don't listen until, you know, I know I listen to shit. Back in, back in the day, the old me won't listen until it was too late and shit. Yeah, I exactly. Think, I think uh. I talked about this on an old podcast. The softest shit I did, though, my girl had, uh, at the time, she had printed out conversations I had on Facebook with girls. What? Yeah, because she made my email address. My dumb ass not thinking. She got access to my email. <laughs> so she see all the incoming motherfucking messages. So this must be back when Facebook used first to started. fucking... Yeah, first started because it's yeah. like it'll send an email to yeah. your yeah. shit. Yeah, you know, know what I'm talking about. You know what? I did something like that before. I used to work for a phone company. Oh, man. Oh, you took and, it to the next level. And, and uh, I worked for that phone company and I had access to his phone records and I was like, this how many times you called on this bitch? This bitch called you all day. Man. Oh man, I was on fire. She That's pr- what I did. Stay right there. Yeah, man. Shit. But see, when you, you know, I think sometimes <laughs> you feel like, I don't know, sometimes you feel like you just gotta settle sometimes, you feel me? And that shit, that's what a lot of us do until, and sometimes you be like, I ain't gonna say wasted years, because I be feeling like those relationships help me to how I am now. Right. No, so, that shit ain't wasted. Yeah. yeah. But, but dog, that like, shit better you in the long run. Yeah, but nigga, she printed out a book like it was a motherfucking, motherfucking report. That so, was over after that? No, it wasn't. Which, how you react? You hit it with the sleepy face? No. Like, I, was, I was like, it was, it was not to do. So I went to my mom's house for a couple of days, and that's why I think she had fucked another nigga that was doing What did you too. say to her, though, when she came to you with that? Because that's receipts. I'm like, well, she, you don't know what I said. Because <laughs> she didn't. She's got the incoming messages. So I went home and shit. Oh, and um, this is Ray J's song. Uh-huh. What the fuck is this? I hit it first. Huh? You still. <laughs> <laughs> Dog, this is Ray J song, dog. Because she was a big Ray J fan, dog. One wish? No, it wasn't one wish. It was something. Wait a minute. Huh? Wait a minute. <laughs> yeah, we look No, I'm, 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 I'm putting I'm some shit out there. I'm going to fuck So it was just verse and shit, dog. So, you know, on the voicemail, I, 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 I put the phone up to the motherfucking speaker and let the oh, motherfucking verse what? play. Oh, what? That's a throwback. I'm like, what the fuck was I thinking? No, that's she- some lovey shit, nigga. When you fuck up, man, you got to do what you got to do to get your girl back, dog. dog. But then I'm like, I'm telling her, like, listen, we ain't going to play these games. If you don't want to be with me, don't be with me. If you gonna fuck other niggas, try to get back at me. Let me, we can break up. And she's like, no, no, no. She wanted to fuck some other niggas and shit, man. So it was all good though. That's crazy. Relationships be on some bullshit though. Them, them young relationships. <laughs> I told my brother that shit. This nigga told me, yeah, man, I'ma fuck school. I'm just gonna live with my girl and shit. Well, no, he didn't say fuck school, but fuck the school he was at. Mm-hmm. I'm up. Me and me and Jazz gonna get a, a crib together. I'm like, nigga, y'all 21. Yeah, that's this shit is not about to work, bro. He's like, man, it's gonna work. And because... like always, this motherfucker say I don't tell him shit. Malcolm and this nigga motherfucker <laughs> don't listen. <laughs> oh, and, and that nigga, what happened? That nigga had to come over with text with me because he got into some shit with her ass. No, I ain't gonna say what. That was his boo. Man, yeah, you know about Jazz. Yeah, yeah, that shit funny though, dog. She married and shit now. Got kids. Hey, he's speaking on him. He's about to come down yeah, right now. Fuck him. Fuck him. He don't listen to shit. <laughs> All right, but shit, since this is New Year, we talk about highs, we talk about lows and shit. Give me some like. Just, just some. Uh, <laughs> give me some fucked up years like that you remember, like oh. a fucked up year, like nigga, like damn, this shit was fucked up. Oh. If y'all got think about, it, I'm gonna let y'all know. 2018 was like one fucked up year and shit after another. So I'm working at Chrysler and shit. Mm-hmm. I'm thinking I'm big balling. These niggas ain't treating niggas like I used to back in the day. Yeah. So shit, they 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 ain't let me go, but they gave me like the boot because they was having other niggas from the motherfucking other plants come in yeah. who had seniority. So I'm not working. I'm getting motherfucking uh, unemployment. So I'm getting about, what, 250 every week and shit. So that's 582 weeks. I'm broke as fuck. Mm-hmm. Got to the car accident and no motherfucking car. Damn. So now I'm sharing cars with my girl. Whenever I want to hang out with Q and shit, I can't even do it. Because mm-hmm. she want a motherfucking certain parking spot in the motherfucking apartment. So I can't move at the 6 o'clock p.m. and shit. Damn. <laughs> so, so it's like, don't go nowhere because yeah. I want my spot. Then when I finally <laughs> got a motherfucking job, I'm working at Fox 2. Uh-huh. Only, my check is strictly going on motherfucking rent Strictly going on this bill And I got like motherfucking five dollars afterwards I came in for this high ready I got y'all mm-hmm. Like I was broke as fuck man Like broke as hell Like no 2018 money was in. fucked up I, It was I a agree. fucked up year Like I was at the crib every day And that bitch damn near crying Nigga listen to one wish <laughs> <laughs> like, Shout out my nigga Ray J Y'all that was a <laughs> fucked up year Like what, 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 what y'all got I say 2018 because I was kind of in a similar situation because I wasn't working. I had tried to start like a little um, hair company, which mm-hmm. I did. Mm-hmm. Um, but, you know, I wasn't consistent with it. It really wasn't really wasn't my vision. I was really just following it off of a friend of mine. Mm-hmm. We posted it together. Long story short, that's over. Okay. But I wasn't working. Like you said, I wasn't working. 
And um, like I always have new cars. Like I ain't, I ain't had to use cars since my first car. Yeah, I mean, you be walking. Man, I had that, <laughs> I had that damn car, and I was complaining about it. I had a Cadillac. I was complaining about it. Mm -hmm. I had to get my car back because my lease was up. But you know, I couldn't sign another lease because I ain't got no job to pay for no car. Yeah. Man, I had to get a used car. <laughs> Well, that nah. shit was terrible. I, it's a Saturn, two, okay. uh, the 2009 Saturn View. Mm -hmm. It's okay. like a little truck. It ain't real bad, I but know what you're talking about, yeah. it ain't nothing hot. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. I want an aviator shit. Man. So that's, your, that's, that's that, what I want. That's one of your bad years? Yeah, 18. That was bad. I got another one. Go cheese. What's up? Shit, my three bad years. You got three of them? I got, Man, I got cause another I, one too. I know them bitches, dog. <laughs> for real, for real. Nigga, 2006, nigga, that's the same year that I had my little nigga Trey. Yeah. But at that same time, I ain't motherfucker had no job because I had quit my job because I was on some some goofy shit in 2005 <laughs> and that shit. Mm. I'm thinking this shit gonna carry me over because some. <laughs> ah, I'm not doing too much right now. <laughs> anyway, that's that motherfucker man. But I ended up grabbing the other uh, job I'm at now. I ended up getting out in 2006 and turned everything around. Bounced back hard as fuck. That's why, like, when I be down, yeah. I don't be tripping because I'm like, dog, I know this shit ain't forever. Yeah. Then in 2013, nigga, I'm on the way to see the plane with the fam and the Impala. Nigga, the motherfucking Impala catch on fire, nigga. What? On Man. the side of the highway. We on 75, <laughs> passing through Monroe, Michigan. And then that shit trickled over to 2014, 2014, because at that time, some shit had caught up with me from when I was unemployed. Yeah. I could talk about it now, because shit, it's over with. I done <laughs> paid my debt to society. I ain't go to jail, no shit like that. But while I was working, I had motherfucking, uh, when I went back to work, I was still on the unemployment shit, collecting that shit. Oh, yeah, I, know I, I probably hit up about 1,800. Hey, <laughs> I probably hit up about 1,800. That's what I'm saying. If you do, if you do motherfucking crime ain't worth the time. Yeah. Man, I hit up for about 1,800. I had to pay back down there six bands, real Yo, shit, right, yeah. in a year. And then on top of that, that's, that's in 2014, I'm paying that shit back. Mind you, I just had my little girl in 2013. So later in 2014, I'm going to Lansing to do a show. I got my niggas with me. These niggas all drunk on dumb shit. <laughs> we end up getting pulled over because these niggas pissing me off. I was drinking one drunk. I end up getting popped with a DUI. So Damn. now, now I got this motherfucking unemployment shit to pay off. <laughs> Plus I got this DUI shit to pay off. Man, I had to come out about ten bands that whole year. God damn. But man. 2015, grab a new truck. Like, man, I, I always bounce back. That's yeah. why I be tripping my about being down. Hell yeah, man. That but shit make you stronger on some real hell shit. Yeah. That shit crazy. I remember this, this nigga Q about to laugh, though. One year, nigga, I forgot. I can't even tell you exact year. I want to say 2009. I had, y'all look this up, man. I had motherfucking <laughs> 1996 Chevy fucking Corsica. So, <laughs> nigga, Mount Lab and shit. Shout out to Classic Pothead. So, I had this. So, my son is fucking one. So at the point, I'm like, man, I'm tired of catching a bus with my son. It's too fucking cold. I don't want to carry no stroller. I'm going to get a car. So I go to the dealership. I see it's in, uh, what's it, Intrepid. Everybody was riding them bitches. So I wanted one. Mm -hmm. My man, like, your credit, you ain't got no credit, so you got to start with some, some, some wet, and then you can go ahead and just change it. I got 96 Chevy Corsica. No radio. No, no, no um, CD player. No cassette player. Just FM, AM radio. And the thing with this car is, if I go over Chase Crib and she not home, and then I go with Cheesy Crib and he not home, I got to sit at Cheesy Crib for 30 minutes or my car won't start back up. For real? Yeah. I can't, I got to call you. Like, you going to be at home, right? You All wasn't right. on that bus, though. Yeah. So I'm in this bitch like, <laughs> like, nigga, we went to, I remember we went to a club. We went to, uh, I think it was St. Andrews or, or Zubar. Zubar. Oh, and the fucking Zubar had like 20 niggas in that bitch. But my nigga Reggie and Weez, I'm like, oh, we here. Why? Nigga, my car ain't going to start for another hour, nigga. We got to let that bitch rest. So we that bitch <laughs> <laughs> So I talk about this car because you gotta rest. Yeah, let that rest. Me and my uh my son, his mom, we together. So we had my mom crib and shit. We went shopping. We every time we got the bridge car, we give my mom like eight dollars for groceries. So we go there. So we got groceries in our car. So Q over the, at the crib and shit. So then we about to go out the door. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, Q like nigga, where your car at? I'm like, shit, I already know what's up. I couldn't pay my car note. I'm paying a car note for a ninety six Chevy course. No, hold on. I usually don't jump in, yeah. bro. <laughs> but man, this nigga had a '96 Corsica with a car note. Car note. <laughs> I fucking get some twenty year old shit no, repo. I put a down payment. How much was your car note? One eighty. Nigga, what? I put, yes. How I, much was the car? I put five hundred down on that bitch. How much they wanted for it? Though? Eight ninety nine. I don't fucking know. But the <laughs> eight thousand dollars. Eight hundred dollars probably. Oh. The thing about it, fuck me up is my nigga. 
He can, who, who, who can't oh, fix my radio? Yeah. He's like, dog, oh, how much you pay? I, I paid 800 for this car last week. I'm like, shit, I want to tell you I'm paying a carton on this old ass bitch. So I get that shit repo. So Damn. My they girl, took your food. Damn. They took the food. They took all the baby snacks and shit, all everything. <laughs> so I go and go to the repo. I go pay and shit, get my shit for repo. All my snacks gone. Them, them motherfuckers had a field They day, ate your shit. food? Yes, man. Ate uh, my shit. So uh, I got that bitch back and shit. shit. That's fucked I got up. that bitch back. So it was a low moment. And then that made the year so lower <laughs> is when I did break up with my baby mama and shit. I moved back with my mama. The, my what well, my eventual eventually bedroom was a dining room. You remember dining room yeah. over there? Yeah. So I'm sleeping in my brother room on three couch cushions, mm-hmm. not a motherfucking bed. Couch cushion. Me and my son, nigga, holding each other, nigga, on by the heat vent, nigga, like dying, nigga. That was the worst year ever. I never thought I'd make a bounce back from that shit. So I, I got of course got that bitch repo, got that bitch back, broke up my baby mama, sleep in my mama house. Don't have a bedroom, nigga. I'm just. Nigga, when Mal go to motherfucking school, I'm in his bed. Before that, I'm on these couch cushions, nigga. Hey, but look, though, like, <laughs> you go through all that, and at the time, that shit don't be funny, but when you dwell back on like, it, damn. you be laughing like, yeah. hell yeah, nigga, I'm, I'm way beyond that. Like, that yeah. shit make you, dog. Yeah. For real, for real. And then, speaking of that relationship, like, what's well, like, 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 when y'all broke up with somebody, did y'all, like, nigga, hurt from that shit, like, for days or weeks? After a breakup? Yeah, like, when you was living yeah. here, like, was that shit, like, Nigga, like, just damn, nigga, that shit hurt. No, nah, man, that shit probably like, man, I cried yesterday. I ain't even gonna lie. And yeah. I, I consider myself to not be a crybaby. Like, I really just, like, don't be feeling like crying. Like, yeah. that, it gets to you. That's a long time. Mm-hmm. But, you know, it ain't too, too bad because, you know, it's like, he's still around. Yeah. But, like, officially breaking up with somebody, that shit do hurt. Let me ask you before I go into cheese. Now, you know, that's, that's baby, that's baby dad and shit. Right. Y'all got a kid together. Y'all was good together for 11 years. Y'all still smash? Yeah. Okay. See, that's and I think that's a bad part because me and my son, mm-hmm. mom, we broke up. I was still smashing. Okay. So when I'm smashing. I'm still thinking this relationship might get back together. Yeah. But every time we smash, we argue afterwards. I'm like, that's why I'm not with this motherfucker. No, we don't even be. Well, sometimes we argue. Cause and here's the thing. This is the crazy <laughs> shit. Cause. Now, the situation reversed like a mug. Like, I feel like I'm him, like how he was, you know, at one point, and now he is who I am. He was like, put yourself in my shoes. Think about how you will feel. I said, hold on, nigga. I know exactly how you feel. Yeah. I know all too well. Knock it off. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, like, he be, I don't know, I guess he got So, my thing, if y'all not together, issues. like, I mean, why, why, why still smash? Because I'm not about to just be out here fucking a random. So, let me ask you this, then. Y'all got a tight-ass relationship. You get with another dude. And shit, like, do the other dude got worried about your old relationship with uh baby dad? No, not if I get with somebody and I'm serious. No, Mm-mm. and that's one thing. I'm a, I'm hypocritical as hell about this. When I broke up with her, I said I never get with a chick who got a kid. Really? Never, because I'm mm-hmm. knowing like nigga, that nigga still got that pussy on lot nine times out of ten. <laughs> <laughs> that's crazy. <laughs> and what 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 if your new chick could feel that about like she do? You, you know what I'm saying? I think she did at first until she seen like. With the, the vibe was. Yeah, and like, she, okay. like, nigga, the thing that she loved was that, nigga, me and my son mom is, like, homies. Like, we cool. Like, she, I ain't she my best friend, but I can get along with her and shit like that. You feel me? And, I mean, there's some shit that she do I don't like. And I'm quite sure it's shit that I do she might not like. But at the end of the day, my girl ain't got to worry about me and her at all, nigga. I know the headache she was and shit, the headache she probably still is. What, yeah. about, what about is that is that cool? Ask you cheese like nigga. I know you got. <laughs> <laughs> what I forgot the question. I know you got. Tell me, I must have my baby mama. Yeah. Uh, honestly, not. Oh, not going some real shit. Not I call her right now. Yeah. Nah, nah, nah. To keep it all the way a buck yeah. when we first separated. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, it was still going down, but yeah. it got to the point like, nah, this ain't what's up. Yeah. But why, why do we do that? that, that though, shit, like, because it's like <clears throat> I don't know. Is that comfortable pussy? Then I guess. Oh, for you, that comfortable dick. Like, <laughs> you irritating the same. Like, like, for real. Like, it's like, like yeah. is it that? Or, like, we, we know it's like, I think Q said some shit. I'm like, about to tell you what it is. First of all, you probably like fucking the person. Mm-hmm. So, that's Especially one. Especially for a long time. Yeah. You know what I mean? And I would think about this, too. Like, if, can you just get tired of fucking the person? And not, you don't. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? You might want to try something different, but you that's can still That's a statement I got, too, for later on. No matter what. Yeah. But I guess that, yeah, it's just, it, it's there. It's like, why not? I remember Q told me some shit, though, a long time ago. It was true as fuck. Fuck around, 
with some for show pussy, trying to get some more pussy in there with no pussy. Yeah. So I'm thinking that was the shit with me. Man, like, that's, hold on, hold on. Say, run, run that back. <laughs> Rewind that. You saw that. Say fuck that again. with some for show pussy, trying to get no pussy in there with no pussy. I mean, trying to get, fuck <laughs> around with for show right. pussy, trying to get more pussy in there with no pussy. That, that's, that's gang. Yo, low key, that's a song, bro. Yeah. yeah. Who's, who's that, Pimp C, right? right? Too short. I can't remember. Nah, AMG, one of them motherfuckers. That shit, yeah. that, that's gang. That, no, that's real shit, yeah. though. So I did club. Shit, I know I got the for show pussy on the, with my with my baby mama. But you trying to see what's else out there? And then I'm at the crib on the motherfucking three ass uh, mats and shit. Like, damn, I got no pussy mm-hmm. right now, cause. So shit, cheese, nigga. Like, with you and yo, you got you got three shorties and shit right, like right, that. Right. Two boys and a girl. Like, nigga, what uh, what what was the fucking like? Shit, what ended y'all 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 shit? Cause y'all was together for a while, from what I know. Ooh. Right, if you don't want to tell me that it's cool, you can, you can play the film. I'm, I'm going to say that for a rainy day. <laughs> okay. For All right, let me tell you this. Like, nigga, was it like, was it something that needed to be? I mean, honestly, the, the, shit was, the shit was bound to happen. Like, for real, for real. Yeah. But it's just like, sometimes you try to, on some real shit, I'm going to just say this. <laughs> Trying to stay together for the kids is not going to fucking work. Hell no. It's not. Like, don't get me wrong. It's not gonna work, dog. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She's trying to stay together for the kids. Now, at the end of the day, you gotta be happy doing what you do. She gotta be happy doing what she wants to do. So y'all yeah. be like, of course y'all be like, oh, we need to do this for the kids. You can only do it for how long? But yeah. it's like Halloween. You put that mask on, <laughs> and then eventually you gotta take that bitch off. So yeah, yeah. that's what it is. Shit, so how y'all go about like as far as like uh like co parenting? Yeah, like, like we like, we good. Like I mean, sometimes we clash and shit, but. I mean, we we good, do especially split, right now. Do y'all split the time with the kids, like yeah, yeah, holiday, yeah. Like, do holiday, like, like, like Christmas, like, like, like Christmas. that's that's another thing. Like you know what I'm saying, like we ain't had to go through no courts and no shit like that. Mm-hmm. We're just like, all right, this is what it is, this is what it is. Sometimes we, like I said, we clash, but mm-hmm. we straight for the most part. And I ain't gonna lie, like you know what I'm saying, ain't no fucking going down. So it's like. Shit, ain't yeah. no, ain't you no can't chip on me, I can't yeah. chip on you about shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now, like I said, when we first separated, yeah, it was still popping off. I ain't yeah. gonna lie, yeah. but not no more and shit. <laughs> what about the kids? Like, how y'all split time with the kids? Shit, I mean, she get a weekend, I get a weekend throughout the week. Because yeah. she, how her work schedule is, they be with me type shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, like, I'm one of them daddies, like... And, like, people be thinking I'm on some bullshit, but, like, I'm one of them daddies that, like, I always got my shorties, like, for real, for real. Yeah, hell yeah. I don't want no other nigga around yeah. my kids. Yeah. I'm sorry. Like, no, because it, it ain't that it's, like, a pride issue, but, man, I done seen too many news stories and shit where it's, like, the mama boyfriend and shot yeah. the kids, yeah. touched the kids, yeah. Yeah. beat yeah. the kids. I you got dark, you yeah. gonna kill that nigga. Come on, bro. Yeah. Come on, bro. <laughs> it, 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 it ain't gonna be no... Oh, let me step to you outside. Nope, it's gonna be nah. nigga. I see your ass in church. Yeah. You do, man, come on, man. <laughs> but I don't even want to think about that. You know what I'm saying? No, I'm not that shit, yeah, yeah, yeah. Cause that shit, that's that's me though. Like I got mad and felt some type of way. My son had said to my uh, girl people like, "Yeah, this is my stepdad." I'm like, "Damn, that nigga got step fucking dad." Cause his mom is married. I'm like, "Nigga, uh, it ain't your fucking stepdad. That's fucking Damon." But then I got to think about like he about to have a step fucking mom. So yeah. Shit mm-hmm. weird though, but nigga, I'm the, I'm the poppy nigga. Hey, but my <laughs> thing is this, like with me. Oh, speaking of that, you got kids. Yeah. Well, a kid. Yeah. No, well, you got two. two. Yeah, you got two. Yeah. Hey, how do you feel about girls calling you daddy? I never had one call me. I that shit a no go for me. That yeah, shit weird. weird. Oh, yeah. what, what about why, you? Why, why, do you do you uh, call your uh, <laughs> no, guys or your why, guys? No, and I hate when niggas ask you to say that. That's so dumb to me. That shit weird. Like yeah, I don't, I don't want to be getting freaky, and I hear daddy, cause you know what I'm saying. That's you, you, that ah. you, but you, cause you a father, probably. Now nah, maybe know. if I had a, Ch- uh, a Mexican chick, she said poppy, it'd be hey, different. Well, well, I, I, think, I think, I think, I think, classify had different. Rodney had some Mexican say that shit. That shit make you go even harder sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, I'm in my fucking dad. But I don't know. But 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 daddy is ah. It's kind of cool. Don't be like. I'm glad we talking about this before we go ahead and switch to that part. What about you, kid, with your daughter? Like. How y'all split the time up? Oh, and um, are you like stingy with with your daughter? No, I listen. I never played that because that's what's I had that growing up when with my mom and my daddy when they was going through their little thing. You know what I'm saying? I knew mm-hmm. that that really how it affected me. Mm-hmm. So I thought about my daughter like I would never. So mm-hmm. I, um, we do it like this. I keep I have her Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. He do Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and we split Sunday. And then what y'all do like every other holiday? Or y'all try to split that day up? Like well, Christmas, we ain't got Christmas. we ain't got that far because he was with us on Christmas. Okay. So everybody. That was one of the times yeah. you made that call. What call? <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> no, I didn't even get to that because he got the tripping on me on Christmas and shit. Damn. So, but no, we was at my family house. We, we was okay. all together. Man, that's what's up. That's what's up. Yeah. You think y'all can still do that? Like, if you got a husband, you think you can say and say, like, yeah, we gonna bring the time in together with my daughter? No, I don't think that'll work. I don't Hell think no. that'll work. I don't, Hell th- no. I don't think see, uh, that'll work at well, all. Well, my shit though, like my <laughs> shit totally different. Like my baby mama actually stay in a different state. Oh, I got my son with me though. Mm-hmm. Like off the rip. She was in Detroit. I moved to Texas. Mm-hmm. I mean, she agreed with it. I felt like my son, he a boy. I feel like he needed to be with, with me. Yeah. And, like, during our relationship, I was always the cool parent. Yeah. Like, everywhere I go, everywhere I go, my brother could, uh, could, could vouch for this. My son was with me. Mm-hmm. If I was at the club, he was at my mama's crib until I got back. I pick him up, we go back to the crib. Like, mm-hmm. he was always with me. He always wanted to be under me because I'm always doing shit. I always got him doing shit. Like, he never, mm-hmm. it's never that's a dull moment. You know what I'm saying? Like, okay. he, he got, was like Will Smith in the pursuit of happiness. Basically, mm-hmm. that's why that shit, nigga, like, low key, don't, don't judge I never me. See that. that shit make you cry, dog. Don't like, judge, nigga. What? I that shit make you fuck. That shit tear you up because that nigga was really going through some shit with his son. Like, nigga, that shit hard. And his baby mama. So, nigga, she everything I've been through, me. my son been right there. That's why I say, nigga, no matter what job I made, how much money I made at a job, my son was always straight. Yeah. Every Christmas, he got what he needed. Every birthday, shit, nigga, every fucking day of the year. So, shit, that's just how it is. And as far as, like, her, mm-hmm. she was in Florida. I was in Texas. I moved back to Detroit. He go with her during the summer. But the only thing I like about it, when he with her, he don't do shit. You be oh, chilling? Yeah, be chilling. chilling hard. Like, me, you, we hoping, we in the gym, we doing everything. Like, even if it's some free shit, like, he got his... All his friends down here, you would think, nigga, my mom stay in Florida. I got a gang of friends in Florida. I'm enjoying that good weather. Yeah. He down there getting fat. He came back, my nigga, you fat, cuz. Like, he down there <laughs> eating that food. And his mama can't cook. That's one thing you got, girl. You can cook. Cook your ass off, girl. Like, I got so fat with your tight. ass. He came back, I'm like, hold on, nigga, shy, you chubby. Like, what the fuck, man? He's we mad. hoping. Yeah, I was mad. Because we hoping he can, he's slow <laughs> now. Like, dog, we got to get this shit back right. Hey. Like, and my son ain't no no skinny, he's stocky. So that shit got, he was chubby. Like, I'm like, dog, we got to get this shit right. You got him right. back right? Yeah, yeah, All yeah. Right. He hoping he, he leaning up, shit, got the girls and shit. That shit funny. Like, we can talk about that shit before we jump into my other shit. You got a daughter, you got sons and a daughter. I got sons like when they start talking to my daughter's six. I ain't think about nothing. Yeah, all right. We talk about your boys then. We talk about your boys. Talk. How old is your son? Uh, motherfucking fifteen and thirteen. Yeah, and see, I got thirteen year old. I had to check his ass, dog. He got on first punishment because he's starting to fuck with these girls and his grades ass slipped a little bit. And he always on the motherfucking under rule, but he been face. But yeah, my my son, he Facetime my little girls and stuff, man. It's like damn, like. I gotta get on his head early so he won't fuck up. Cause these girls, like I told him, from the this day until you die, girls is gonna cause a lot of problems. So don't let that <laughs> shit fuck your grades up. Only if you let them. Yeah, mm-hmm. but they they find a way, bro. They will find a goddamn they way. Only, only if you let them though. Yeah, Real cause free. he talking like five girls on my basketball team. I'm like, cause it's chill though. You about to have a whole basketball team fighting with each other. He talking to five of them. Not, not like just you know, just conversations and stuff. And then last night I had to tell him something like, mm. don't get into this, dog. He was by me like, yeah. Such and such want me to be on the phone with her while she sleep. I said, hang that phone up right now, dog. Don't do that, dog. Don't be on the phone. What kids we doing? What dudes on the phone, like, y'all? What you saying? shit we came up on for real. Yeah, but, but I thought like like it was goofy, though. I thought like it was goofy. Like, sometimes you gotta let your. Like, but she was dead asleep. Like, Child, hang that phone up, cuz. Hang that phone up. But the best. All right. But yeah, it was, yeah. It was like how y'all feel like, man, as far as like yo 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 shorties talking to girls. Yeah, I know they they, they started. Yeah, uh the oldest one he had him a little girlfriend and shit. Yeah. I don't know how that shit ended. <laughs> uh my my uh other son. I don't know, but on some real shit, like I ain't one of them parents that be baby trying to encourage my kids to be on the bullshit. Yeah, me like, yeah, yeah. Like I ain't gonna lie, cause like I know a little a lot of little niggas. I call my kids I call my sons niggas I don't call yeah, my daughter no nigga But <laughs> I know a lot of You know what I'm saying Little boys my age All them niggas coming up Under this bullshit So it's like My kids be on some shit Like this wanna, They wanna play the game Type shit Like I don't even be tripping Like these yeah. niggas Are being gangs These niggas mm-hmm. be smoking weed yeah. Drinking lean Popping pills yes. All this old nut ass shit That yeah. all these little niggas Is doing For real, So man. I don't be tripping On that shit So yeah. I'm like man On some real shit Dog just you know what I'm saying? Keep your head on them books. Hell Get yeah. your motherfucking grades up. Yeah. Respect your elders. Yeah. And be responsible as far as clean up after yourself. That's that's the only three Duh. things I ask for Duh. my sons. Like, on I some real shit. Like, shit. And then niggas be at, like, motherfuckers be talking to me like, oh, you don't make your kids do that? You don't make your kids do that? Well, I let the that shit or they mama house. When they with me, it's like, okay, 
I'm going to handle this shit. Yeah. I'm showing y'all how to hold the crib down and take care of a crib. Yeah. Like, nigga, you got to wash clothes. Yeah. You got to wash the dishes. You got to sweep. Yeah. You got to mop. All yeah. that type of shit. No. Like, when you with your mama, yeah. then you, you you cut the grass over there. Yeah. I'm going to cut the grass over here. Because I'm, I'm on some Stanley shit. Yeah. I'm on my shit crispy than a motherfucker. Like, no. For real, for real. No. Hell like, yeah. I'm trying to show them, like, this how I want that shit to be. Because that's the point you said shit. Because when my son, I, he was, uh, one of his, his little friends came over or whatever, like, you wash the dishes? Hmm. Like, yeah, you wash, he wash them dishes, boy. Mm -hmm. I don't touch the dish. If he not home, nigga, my girl wash the dishes. He wash the dishes. I'm like, dog, make sure that room clean. Make sure it's done straight. Because when you yeah. get older, you got those same habits. And a girl gonna yep. like that shit. You come in your crib and your junk clean. Like, yeah. your junk good, dog. Really, and my man. thing with my son, like, he... he I like that my son is a little, a little kind of square it's like me, but he know how to go ahead. He can interact with white people, with black people. He can be in the hood, whatever. He he himself and he he liked by right. both sides. That's how my kids is. they go to school in the uh, in the suburbs, so to speak. So you yeah. know what I'm saying? They they be around a lot of a lot of white people. They yeah. being around black people. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mix it, around, mix it up. Uh, oh, yeah. uh, I don't, don't want to say this wrong, so I'm gonna just say Oriental people yeah, yeah, yeah. and Middle Eastern people, like so, some of everything. So what about what about you, Chase? Like your daughter. She, she she young now, but eventually she gonna get older. I'm straight. She gonna get older eventually. Like you gonna have that talk with her as far as like what to expect from from young boys or whatever like that, and the do's and don'ts. I mean, yeah, I absolutely. I'm gonna have that conversation with her. Like it's crazy because it's like a lot of stuff you would think when well, you don't need to talk to your kids about. At mm -hmm. my daughter is seven. If you don't think you would need to talk to them about at a seven year old, uh, but you do. Yeah, cause they got because they got access to that phone. Because nope. Not to cut y'all off, man. Because a lot of shit kids talk about at school. Exactly. Oh, yeah. And they right. fuck yeah, you up right. when they come up and ask you, what's yep. sex? And you yeah. like, oh, you fumbling? Oh, what? You in the third grade? What the fuck you mean with sex? Duh. Yeah. yeah, no, but seriously, because my daughter is in the second grade, but she's supposed to be in the first. She yeah. had got put up a grade. So you figure okay. these little kids, maybe they do a little more. Mm -hmm. I don't know, but she said, she came home and said some, something to me. I had to check myself. I got so I got so angry. Mm -hmm. I just couldn't believe it. Like, who's who's at home talking to these little girls? They come to school talking like this. Now my baby repeating this. Yeah. You know what I mean? And so you got to have that talk, even though it's uncomfortable. But I'm going to tell you the truth, and I'm going to be honest, and I don't care if this get aired and somebody see it in 100 years. <laughs> I don't I don't mind people, you know, living their lifestyle how they feel. Gay yeah. pride, all of that. You know, whatever you feel like you need to do, mm -hmm. then you got to do going. what you got to do. Mm -hmm. But for me and mine... Yeah. We don't move like that over here. You know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. So I tell my daughter like this. I know she liked a little boy. I'm happy she likes a little boy. Yeah, 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 you know yeah. what I mean? And it's crazy that you got to be happy about stuff like that, but it's a norm. Yeah, we going to get on that. Hold on, hold on. Why, why is it, like, say for instance, it's like, okay, I ain't got nothing against, you know what I'm saying, homosexual people. Mm -hmm. You feel me? Right. But why is it that when they motherfucker push their shit out there, it's okay, but... Mm -hmm. If I pride myself on loving pussy, it's mm -hmm. like, oh, what are you doing? What are you saying? You can't say that. Like, you can't do that. No, no, no. Like, yeah. damn, y'all talking about what y'all love. Why I can't express what I like? Like, right. you know what yeah, I'm saying? Yeah, like, yeah. that's fucked up. And then they putting that shit in the little kids' cartoons. See, putting I, that shit in movies. I, I was gonna putting wait. that shit everywhere. I was going to wait to talk about this later. But shit, we got to do it because y'all did. We done took it down. So, first off, I want to say no issues with nobody who they like men like a man women like a women I don't care right, I don't care either. I just know where I'm, I'm comfortable because I had I got people in my family that's gay mm -hmm. uh, me too yeah, yeah my God, cousin that's my dog God rest my uncle's soul but he was gay and guess what I trust myself and my my, my mask what's the word masculinity thank you I'm a little buzz right now that <laughs> I can be around it and not feel no type of way right like man. my mama yeah. dog my uncle used to throw these parties and it was all fags. Of course, you, you can't say that. I'm going to say that. All homosexuals. Homosexuals, dog. So, <laughs> all the alphabets, they want to say everything. So, uh, they used to have some good-ass food. So, whenever <laughs> my Uncle Junior and his, his boyfriend, Tony Blunt, mm -hmm. I called my mom. And <laughs> hey, you name dropping like, yeah. damn. <laughs> damn. <laughs> Tony Blunt. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, you, you, Tony. You, you met Tony. Tony stayed upstairs from the apartment. Oh, he yeah. He stayed with my mom while he cussed him out. Vaguely. Yeah. But anyway. Trying to look at Tony. Hey, hey. They throw these little parties. Yeah, you know, he look over there on them. They throw these little parties or whatever, and my mom be like. Hell no. Like, my you know, nigga shy. Like, you, still, like, you know, uh, Uncle Jimmy have a little, you know, get together on my go-over. You, you want to come? I'm like, man, I'm good. Whatever. But I be around that junk and I know what it is, what it's about. Like I'm cool. I like women, so I don't mm -hmm. give a damn. We be over there just kicking it, chilling, cracking jokes, eating good food, go home right. or whatever. But uh, 
It, I'm talking about this because the whole the D Wade jump with his son. Mm. Are you saying um, that? I I know a little bit about. Nah, it. dog. Like I say, man, I'm not. I don't have no issues with nothing. Mm-hmm. But dog, he he twelve years old, twelve years old now. Mm-hmm. But D Wade on the interview said that he noticed that his son wasn't like how typical boys was at the age of three. Mm-hmm. So I, I want to say since the age of eight, they basically been with, uh, calling this boy a girl. Yeah, and he been to like I the gay pride that. festivals and all this stuff. My, my only thing about that dog, like, like how you feel like that's young, bro. Like shit, like you know what you like at a young age. I mean, I, I ain't gonna lie, as as a father, that shit would hurt me, but at the same time, I will accept my kid. Yeah. But. Nigga, when I say come take this picture, cuz you ain't finna be in that bitch with no crop top on with yeah, your nails. Nails, doing no, up. Cause he the nails. No, like, nigga, if, any, like hey, if anything, you can, you can do a regular down. fold your arm oh. pose. Do you ain't finna son. do all that old feminine. I, he 12, he got nails? He 12, yeah. It was, it was let a, it, my look, daughter wear nails at 12. Look, it was a picture. Set. Yeah. yeah, yeah, look, it was a picture that came out. He was in the picture, he had like a crop top on. Yep. He leaning on somebody, you know what I'm saying, with his nails showing it. It's just super feminine, like that. Might not even be who that little boy is. Exactly, he's a baby That's still. Yeah. He's his mind ain't even fully developed. How do you know what's and going on? And you, and you accepting this at age eight. So it's like, dog. It's I like, wouldn't say accepting. I, I say embracing because I'm fucking gonna be who that is. So yeah. I'm not knocking who you are, but yeah. it's just like. We finna take this picture, cuz. Yeah, 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 yeah. Do a do, do a jail thing, pose or something, my nigga. Like, like, come on, bro. Pose. You ain't about to put your hand on your hip. My thing is this: I, one thing I never understood. I, one thing I never understood, dog, is when you gay. Like, why do you gotta change things up? Why you can't just be a gay but a man? Just be, still be a man, but you like men. Like you ain't gotta say everything. Uh, like, oh, like, 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 Hey, Ch- hey Chase! Like dog, no, like why you gotta change your voice? Cause they, because it's like they, they embrace, like, embracing they, they femininity. Why, why, why you can't still have yeah, embracing right. femininity? They like, don't have no femininity. Like why, why you can't have a still have a hoodie on? Why you can't just be a boy? Still dress so, like a boy. Like, I don't hey. even care about them doing acting like that. I care about that. I like cause I, some, the gay men be so cool. Yeah, I, it don't bother me like they act like that. But right, right. What I what I will say though is this. Why do why do you just have to push that agenda into the whole world? It's Ain't like no y'all forcing it to me. Exactly. And it's not just be about but look, homosexual, but I don't want my daughter really forced to look about at nothing sexual shit. right now. Why is Hell this a cartoon? Nah. Yeah. I don't even yeah, like you right. watching a movie in a, in, a, in a prince and a princess kiss, like, oh, close your eyes, yeah, baby, you can't yeah, see yeah, this. Yeah. But, like, back what you were saying, I forgot what the fuck what about, I was saying. I got a question for all y'all. Take that shit off. Damn. Like he said, if he saw it at three, would y'all would have tried to rear him the right way? I think this right would have right tried. Now, right goddamn see. now. We was at Walmart, dog. And they had like, we was, uh, I be getting these little waters and stuff like that, whatever. And my son, my baby son seen a uh, doll. Like, that's a baby. That's a baby. Like, that's a girl baby. That's for girls, boy. It was a, it was a girl dog. Mm-hmm. And he said that, I guess at daycare, he was playing with some toys with the, with the other girls and stuff and boys. I'm like, dog, no, we don't play with dogs. Mm-hmm. Like, oh. I mean, it's toys. And they, they, as little kids, they just seen that right. as toys. Yeah. Hey, and then speaking on that, I think that's why like, like women be better parents for the most part than dudes cause like they grow up with baby dolls yeah. so they know how to put the baby to sleep feed the baby yeah. Yeah. us niggas don't get that shit we play with G.I. Joe we just shoot shit up yeah. fight yeah. niggas and Rest shit like that and, uh, but yeah like like dog so with y'all kids like uh, y'all okay you say we don't play that shit but would you accept it if she came like 17, 18, 19 like listen I'm not even going to entertain that uh, yeah. you, cause my thing we had a conversation on, on Hood Howard Stern podcast I remember a long time ago is how would you accept your your son or daughter if it was gay? And I had said back then I was young. I'm like fuck that hell no. My son ain't gonna be around the, me the trying to bring credit to Thanksgiving. Hell no. But see, that's the truth. Thing, you really don't quick, know. Real quick, just uh, chime in on that shit. Um, my whole thing on that is you can be gay all you want, but in Dwayne Wade in them situation. I'm not about to call my boy a her or yeah, a she. Yeah, she right, right. yes, did. That's where I'm and drawing And I remember what line. I'm about to say. Yeah, okay. yeah, I'm drawing the fucking line. Yeah, I'm not yeah. doing you that. You can be either. gay, but you're still a boy. I'm not going to call you her or she. Right. Yeah. Hell no. Hell no. Hey, I don't want to forget my shit, but back when you was talking about what you was talking about. <laughs> what? <laughs> I forgot that. <laughs> yeah, you lost it again. I forgot because I remember. Hold on. <laughs> <laughs> it's going to come back to hey, that's Oh, that's, that's what I was going to say. When she was talking about like uh, homosexual people, like, yeah. like, I respect, you know what I'm saying, a motherfucking dude that's just out there and he lets you know. Mm-hmm. But it be these niggas out here who yes. be trying to fuck. 
females it's and be switching hitting, yeah. hitting dudes. Like, yeah, yeah. Really that's what I don't that's respect. That's some yeah. crazy that's the only, That's my only problem with, like, down low gay dudes. Like, regular gay dudes, like, okay, you, you. Yeah. You just already know, it. like, yeah. the vibes. Yeah. You know to keep that over there. Yeah. If you talk to me, it's just like, hey, what's up, bro? And I'm like, what's up, my G? You know what I'm yeah. saying? Yeah. I ain't gonna be like, what's up, sis? I ain't yeah. gonna crack no shit yeah. like yeah. that. But, like, when you a dude who motherfucker be like, oh, you see your girl right there? I'm like, hell yeah, you see her. But then you just trying to break conversation, really. You looking at the dude next to her, like, oh, look at that nigga ass. Shit like that. Yeah. I don't you respect that? that type oh, of shit. Yeah, she bad. Oh, man, talking yeah, about her. You, you just, like, you, like, <laughs> yeah, That's my, the thing. I believe that too. I be like, own your shit. I'm real. I'm real serious mm-hmm. about that. Just be who you are. Like if you get in, it's like totally fine. Yeah. You know, living your truth. Yeah. Don't be trying to. You know. Like, it it, it, it would that. hurt me if my son said that jump. But at the end of the day, I'm old enough not to be like, fuck. It. I just gotta. It's still my son. Mm-hmm. But thank God, I talked to my oldest son like. Cause like let's have a conversation. We never had this conversation before. Like dog, you you really do like you ever, girls. Uh, like, seen what type of porn he watch? Dog, porn. I you, remember you watch porn. I, no, but I, I remember my son watching some huh. fucking cartoon porn. Really? Yeah. Porn, porn. Big, it, it said right. big ass. I'm like. Hey, I, I told you about the, on, on the last show yeah, yeah, when I was yeah, on, like, yeah. I done caught both of my little niggas watching porn. Yeah, yeah. The oldest one, I caught them watching white girls twerk. If we twerk. had the porn, we got white girls twerk. Yeah, and the other one, he, he was watching some, some riding shit on uh, X video. Man. When, I, when I seen the shit, Did I you say something, like, though? I mean, I checked the nigga, but <laughs> I'm looking at it like, damn, I ain't never seen this video. This shit was live. <laughs> like, that shit no, was live. Yeah, because I, I, I really? talked to my son, like, uh, like, nigga... Always motherfucking be open to tell me anything, nigga. Like anything, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a chop it up with you. Like, I'm like, cause you like, man, I like girls, nigga. You crazy? Like, <laughs> but I just want to know, cause sometimes I be afraid that you know, what I'm saying, tell you that shit, like shit, it might it might be that way. So let me know, now, nah, dog. Like, hey, cause it's it's, it's a it's a thin line on um, bet- um, you know what I'm saying, be between your kids, friend, and a parent. Like yeah. that line thin as hell. Me personally, I rather be the parent than a friend. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Cause if you if you the friend. Then it's kind of like a lot of respect get lost. Yeah, hell yeah, hell yeah. But then it's like and when you they the, talk to you the same way they talk to their little homie. Yeah, but then it's like when you the parent, it's like sometimes they can be scared to come to talk to you about shit. Hell so yeah. it's like pros and I cons. Say it's, like, it's like a balance between both. Like, dog, me, and my, I say my son, that's my, that's I'm, mean, I know I'm his friend and shit. And then, but he know like nigga, I will fuck you up. You feel me? You fuck yeah. up, nigga. I will, nigga, I will kill you, nigga. Like, don't fuck up in these grades. Don't fuck up in life. Period, nigga. I'm gonna hurt you. I always tell my daughter like this. You know, I'm going to always keep you in line because it's my job to make sure that, you know what I'm saying, you you keep your head on straight. But mm-hmm. at the same time, I do want to keep that line of communication open because the first person you need to come talk to about something is me because yeah, I'm going to be the one that's going to keep it real with you. And it's a great exactly. fucking segue. God damn. Hold on. No, no, don't leave off that one. Shit. Hold on. <laughs> don't leave off that one, no, because it's like, right, go ahead, uh, it's still good It's like, I'm not going to fucking tell you no bullshit. Your no. friends will give you some bullshit tell advice. You like, I got your best interest at yeah, the end yeah. of the day. Like, yeah, for yeah. real, for real. And then I might tell you some shit. Like, I ain't know no very white shit. <laughs> I'm like, I ain't going to practice what I preach, but... I'm going to tell you what's best, even if that ain't how I move. Like, yeah, okay, yeah. yeah, like, yeah, I drink. Mm-hmm. I'm not going to encourage you. Like, I can't wait till you get older. Hell we going to yeah. drink. But right, if you do no. drink, best believe, come chop it up with pops. Mm-hmm. We going to yeah. talk it up. Exactly. But I'm like, yeah, no, don't yeah. do none of that shit. Hell yeah. Like, for real. But since you said that shit, and um, I forgot what, uh, oh yeah, talking to your motherfucking parents and shit. Yeah. I remember being a little nigga. My dad passed away when I was like, what, 12, 13. Mm-hmm. So, talking about sex with my mom, I had to ask her, like, where the hole at? How many girls? How many girls a whole guy? I like, never had the birds and the bees talk. Dog, yeah. So I talked to all that shit about my mom, and she kept it real with me about uh-huh. everything. So this is gonna go ahead and cross over to that, which is your first time having sex. Oh God, that's so. <laughs> How good or bad it was. Now I'm gonna start off while y'all sit here and marinate on that. Okay, go ahead. I'm good. My shit. <laughs> right. My shit was so bad. The girl walked away thinking she was still a virgin. What? What happened? Please tell us what happened. I feel so, sorry for you. So listen, my girlfriend at the time, I'm 13, she 12. So we've been knowing each other for a while. Damn, No, we, we have sex at that time. I'm no, about no. to say. How, how old was you? That's your shit. Uh, 16, I guess. Uh-huh. In my, in my mind, you? 16. I was 15. Okay. So it was uh her name. She was she supposed to be my... Like, we supposed to be together to this day. That's how we had this shit planned out. So mm-hmm. she's 12, I'm 13. So... Finally, the moment come. I'm 16. She 15. 
Mm-hmm. So she fine. I'm over her mom's house and stuff. I always go ahead and and spin at her mom's house when she over her boyfriend's house or my mom didn't really give a fuck. Like mm-hmm. she used to come to my house at like four in the morning. Whenever her sister goes to the club, she uh-huh. drop her off. Okay. So the one time I'm finally about to get the ass. I'm looking like, oh, thank you, Jesus. I've been trying this shit for long. That's why I was. <laughs> yeah, so, uh, she, you know what I'm saying? We we, in the, we already in the bed, whatever. We already did the whole kiss and shit. Okay. I ate pussy before I even got pussy. Okay. For the first time? I ate pussy at 16. Hey, that's crazy. Cause, that's like, shit funny. Yeah. I always thought it was nasty. No, 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 because it's like niggas be on some shit like, <laughs> eat pussy. Why eat no pussy? Yeah. But then when you get older, you be like, See, I was talking about niggas like, out that pussy. I was talking about <laughs> Before you had pussy, yep. Watching Love and Basketball. No, a lot of a lot of niggas do it. Don't don't. It's funny. Watching Love and Basketball. Don't let them tell you don't lie. When they was five dollars on what yeah. Wednesday? So I remember that? hearing OGs talk about nigga shit eating pussy was cool. I remember my friends talking about that shit nasty. I'm like, let me go ahead and see what the old niggas talking about. So ate the pussy. Shit, that shit was smooth. <laughs> what is that like though? Cause mean? it's different for a girl. Like that's like a lot. Like I mean, old daughter. I mean, that time her shit wasn't stinking, so it was like. No, man, what are you talking about? <laughs> 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 Shot. It was smooth, wow, shit. It was good, little smooth. But shit. it's like wet down there the whole time. Like that don't bother well, shit, you. Her being young, that shit, it was. It went from dry to wet. So it went from that cat to say it went from the water real quick. Like I got the motherfucker. Hey. I know I was doing. Hey. I was looking. You I was, see why this man? You talking young I, pussy though? I was looking. <laughs> I was doing something right. That shit, but yeah, it was. It was wet. But I'm like, oh shit, this shit good then. So uh, anyway though, All right. anyway <laughs> though, and she was good. She said, "Was it wet, nigga? Hell yeah!" So I'm thinking about being wet, and I'm doing a good job. And I'm that bitch, nigga. Oh I'm, man! I'm, oh, you I'm man, man. Oh, that bitch looking at everything, nigga. Not no ass, but I was looking at everything though. What's wrong with that? I ain't know. I we can talk about ass. that later. Though. I ain't no ass though. But hold on, but listen, so <laughs> I'm fine by get the get some ass and shit. After a couple months, I guess she said I ate some pussy, so I'm gonna let him get some ass. Oh, you said a couple months. After couple you. months, yeah, a couple months. <laughs> hey, I thought it was the same day. <laughs> 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 this day at least. For no, you talking about? I ain't pussy, didn't get no ass. Oh lord. But then you know Oh, you one of them niggas. She no, went down, no, she I'm fucking with you, I'm fucking with you, I'm fucking with you. She went down on me and she, you know, they gave me a little good a good mouth job real quick. Anyway, we we get to the moment. Her mom gone and shit. So she like, yeah, let's, let's finally do it. I'm like, thank you, Jesus. So I take my pants, she take her pants and shit. She got a condom for her mom room. All right, I, I slide the condom on. As soon as my dick touched the fucking lip, that bitch. Oh, she came. Please. American Pie. Damn. American Pie. It went in. It went in one. Hey, no, Pie, oh. He know American Pie. He ain't even. He ain't even chance. It went in one time. To, it went in one Ooh. time. That halftime, like oh. So I pulled out, like you know what? I don't think we ready. <laughs> I don't think we ready. But you had already had. <laughs> Cause I didn't want her to know that I bust that quick. <laughs> Cause I'm a head job oh, out that bus, shit. so she like, yeah. Well, when we fuck, you gonna be going for days. I'm like, hell yeah. No, but I'm serious. I think every nigga done fucking skied it quick, but no, oh, man, it's it's, it's yeah, levels yeah. to the skiing quick. It. Like, I at least gotta probably get that motherfucker for like ten seconds. Mm-hmm. Something. My shit was a stroke in the half. But that was your first time, though. Yeah. You was just excited. I'm like, oh. Yeah. So nigga, it was a rap and shit. Hey, first of all, my nigga, you tripping though. Father came that quick. We still fucking again. See, I'm not thinking. I'm, I'm, it's my first time, so I'm not knowing. And yeah, I don't want her. Nah, and I don't want her head. to think like, nigga, this nigga quick as fuck. Like, nigga. So even she though we probably even, knew. Yeah, I don't know shit. I'm, I'm, I don't you know shit, bro. Do. So then, that's you my know. first. That's my. <laughs> that's my first time. That was my first time for me. I don't think it was our first time for her. She probably don't even know this shit. And then my my other first time. Hold on, I got two first times. That, that was only first time for me. I told her nigga that we wasn't ready, so. <laughs> I'm sweet. Hey, then he said my other first time. <laughs> so you you done had two first times. That was that first time, first time. That was like part time. So, so Mel know about Mel know about this first time. No, so I don't. You do. You no, when I tell the story, you know, nigga. So uh, we got a bump bed. You know what I'm saying? So oh, I'm like, shit. at the time, this is probably like a couple weeks later or whatever. This one girl I've been messing with. I've been wanting to hear her for a long because I've been knowing her for a while, but we just got back in touch and shit. Mm-hmm. So uh, I'm talking to her phone and shit. She coming over and shit like that. And uh, she like, all right, bet. I'm coming over after school. Mind you, a day before, my homie Peachy Green and shit, I ain't going to say his name. This nigga used to bring condoms over my house because his girl stayed next door to me. So when he go home, he put the condoms in my drawer, leave. So he did that shit. So I'm in the bathroom, like, getting myself together, like, all right, I'm about to smash this pussy. I'm going to be for sure this time. I'm going to be good. So she's like, I don't know if I'm ready. I'm like, what you mean? She pulled out this motherfucking Magnum XL. 
So I'm like, bitch, I don't know if I'm ready for that shit. So I'm mad as fuck. This nigga left this big ass condom in my motherfucking drawer. And I don't know if I can fit the bitch. <laughs> oh, wow. So I'm like, put that bitch back. We're going to get the Trojan. Because I know I, I put the Trojan on before. I can fit that bitch. I don't know how big a Madden XL is. So I put that bitch oh, back. Oh, XL. Yeah, XL. Not mad, no XL. So I don't know what the fuck he was thinking. Putting that shit in my drawer. And I never used that bitch. Did not, <laughs> that bitch might fall off your pussy. <laughs> you silly as hell. I don't know. So uh, I get the I put the shit on. She she take her pants down. Smell like straight catfish. Oh uh, man! But my ass still wants some ass. I'm hit. You ain't eat though, did you? No, no, hell no. I just <laughs> you not just too late. So <laughs> I smash, but the smell so bad, my shit went limp. Uh, so oh. it went limp. She felt the limp, and she got mad. I walked into the bus stop. I ain't heard from her since. Then. So basically, yo yo oh, two first girl. times is terrible. I came fast Perfect. and then one was a smell, yeah. so my shit went limp. So I came fast and I went limp. That's nasty. So y'all go ahead and go with y'all Fuck shit. Yeah. <laughs> my first time was so funny. Um, I had it all planned out. Mm. So I had my cousin come over. She came to my house, and um, the guy that I was that I was going with at the time, <laughs> going with, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, he lived down the street from her, so he came. He came to my house too. So I'm like, come over to my house. I'm about to have sex today. <laughs> You know, like today, today is the day. You talk to him? No, hell no. To my cousin, like you know, today I'm about to get ready to, you know, do this, whatever. So, Mm -hmm. all my friends that had sex, they was talking about it and shit. So I'm like, I'm about to do it. So he came over, (laughs) and um, oh my god, I had rap music playing, so ghetto. (laughs) Um, So we we did it or whatever. So I made, I think I made him stop. Mm -hmm. Anyway, then. I told my cousin, like, act like my mama called him so he can leave. Yeah. So I made the nigga leave. And then I broke <laughs> up with him the next day. Oh, and then so I, you, you playing like a savage. I walked up. I didn't think about it like that. I just didn't want to talk to him no more. I walked up to my school and told, um, and told, um, told all my friends I had sex. I was hyped. That's how my first time went. Uh, shit, the chick I lost my virginity to, shit, it wasn't her first time. But I didn't let her know it wasn't my first time. Yeah. It was straight. See, it was no, it was no quick, no quick boy. Like, oh shit, I'm, it was, it was I'm regular, sad. like, cause on some real shit, like no homo. I didn't know I already choked the chicken before I had yeah, even had my first. This <laughs> nigga, good porn. for yeah, real, nigga. Like, I came up while watching porn on VHS tapes. Yeah, I'm yeah, talking yeah. about you steal your uncle or your daddy shit. Yeah, you gotta yeah. rewind that bitch back to the exact yeah, spot that they yeah. left it off on. That's crazy. Hell yeah, I just for real. Yeah. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. So, so, that that big ass bush, them motherfuckers even shaved back then. Big ass. Nah. Daddy, <laughs> my daddy had a picture of a woman with that on like he thought that shit was cute no, he had that posted up on the all wall the little, all the little dirty magazines and shit like yeah, man. Yeah, hell yeah I told you about me man I was a man kid I ain't gonna lie dog hell no so nigga my thing is this though I ain't, gonna, I, ain't gonna, I ain't gonna put my nigga out there but this nigga be talking about two hours three hours we got female like do a nigga gotta go that long for no. real no, nigga. I don't even want to fuck you for two I hours. tell you, I that's tell you, I'm gonna tell you this. Oh, I, you gonna get the ahead. best seven that's minutes of your time. motherfucking life. I'm sleeping. And that's what the. <laughs> <laughs> seven because my thing is this: we ain't about to be in that bitch sweat, nigga. Hey, you got yours, I got mine. We good. No, no I ain't saying that, nah. Yeah. I ain't saying I, that. Like on a drunk night, I need two hours. I don't want to do yeah, it. We, hours. nigga, mm-hmm. fifteen minutes. Wait, y'all y'all gonna, we y'all gonna do some seven to ten, but in between there's gonna be some thirties plus for sure. Oh, uh, 30 on the second one, but that motherfucker, first time, let me get that good 10, girl. Never no, know. no, but on some real shit, like, I nigga, you, you can see that shit watching porn, like, a porn would be like, well, an hour and 30 like, minutes, <laughs> but it'd be like 20 minutes of the chick talking, 20 minutes of her motherfucker shaking her ass, then it'd be 20 minutes of like, or it'll be like 10 minutes of fucking. Man. That's how that shit be. Yeah, yeah, but watching. once, look, one time I was having this conversation with one of my cousins and shit, and the nigga was talking, he was telling me like, ah, I'm I can't even do the nigga voice. If I do the nigga voice, it's gonna give away. But he was just like, man, cuz I'm I be I be hitting him off the off the off the perks, man. I be fucking for like three days. I'm like, and I'm like, I'm like, I'm like, cuz on some real shit. Don't no chick wanna be hit that much. Like a chick wanna be broke off, come a couple times, like you don't have to do all that. I'm like on some real shit, my nigga. Trick you some henny and then go in if you trying to really really do your thing, but like don't no chick want to be hit no. for that long, no, dog. Because, yeah, like, yeah. like on some real shit, that shit would literally hurt them and not hurt in a good some, way. Motherfuckers get dropped. Yeah, yeah, like. <laughs> for real. Oh, my God. Bleed. Like, damn, why must they bleed? <laughs> you ain't. Uh, that, and that shit be uncomfortable. Like, you know, motherfucker, dog. Oh, my God. Dog. That shit funny, dog. I mean, yeah. like, nigga. So, you talking about that shit, like, 
I, we were talking about that shit before uh, uh, Chase came in about the whole limp dick. Uh -huh. So, uh, you know, one time I was hitting this chick and shit, my shit got limp. And the condom, no, I ain't, ain't get limp. I bust. But I bust quick, so I got the condom on. So mm -hmm. I kept going, hoping my shit motherfucking rise back up. It did. And that was a good motherfucking move by me because she didn't think that I came quick and shit. Like, have you ever had somebody go limp? What you mean? Like, came like, 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 No, that or that shit just die. And your pussy, like, damn, that shit. No. I got motherfucking loose meat in this bed. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I mean, I had people come quick, but nah, hell nah. So, do chicks, do y'all talk about that shit you must each other? Like, dog, this nigga, motherfucker Donald, this nigga came in two seconds. This nigga said Donald. I don't really, <laughs> I don't really talk, talk to my girls about what I do. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I don't talk to them about, about what, because, you know, I, I'm like this. I'm thinking shit. I'm telling you about him yeah. and what we doing. I don't need you imagining my nigga fucking you. I don't need you, you going to fuck him. Detail. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? That ain't your business. And, and furthermore, I don't even really want to hear about your sex cafes either. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know y'all fucking. I can imagine what's going on. That should be funny. Like, I ain't got no problem with, like, when my niggas telling me stories but yeah. my whole thing is bro don't tell me shit about your man or your wifey yeah. if it's like some shit in your past like remember that little chick used to come around with the da 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 yeah, I'm like yeah, yeah. I'm like, oh man da 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 but like don't be like oh man matter of fact it was one of my co-workers when I first started at my job and shit man you he is a motherfucking French Canadian motherfucker I did not know this nigga from a can of paint didn't even <laughs> know this nigga name at the time mm -hmm. we working together just like this this motherfucker lean over like, yeah, so I'm fucking my wife in the ass last night. <laughs> and I'm just like, I'm like, bro, like, the fuck, like, man, you just, I'm young as hell, like, nigga ain't even knowing, like, you on that type of time at these, like, I'm just like. No, we talking about that shit last podcast about fucking ass with R. Kelly and shit, eating ass. You eat. I'm not sure you talking about that shit. Yeah, like, dog, no, can you fuck a, a chick in the ass or do chicks want to get fucked in the ass? Like, I mean, different I strokes did. with different folks. Yeah, I never did no shit like some that. Some chicks like mm -hmm. some girls really like it. I know some girls that prefer it. Motherfuckers yeah. come off that uh, shit. I now I have tried it. I ain't gonna say, I ain't, but I mean, I, I don't, don't want to do it no more. Like yeah. I, don't, I don't really want no dick in my ass. Yeah, know? yeah, I'm good. So oh, you got to lube the chick the fuck up, yeah. FYI. I'm not. I, I so never ate no, no ass before. <laughs> and I don't, you ain't never ate no ass before. Mm -mm. He mm -mm. irritating. Maybe when I'm like 40, we've been married for a long time. You know, girl, mm -mm. We, ain't, we ain't never tried this shit. Let me eat your ass real quick. Nigga, that, I'm on some real <laughs> shit. That's, that's like what pussy eating like. When niggas be like, oh, I ain't eating eat no pussy. You graduate. I ain't never eating no ass. <laughs> <laughs> then you eat some ass. <laughs> 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 no, I just never thought about it. I'm not saying you go around just bunching everybody ass on some Pac-Man <laughs> shit. <laughs> 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 not that type of shit. I might be a white guy's nigga, but I, never, I ain't never ate the butt. I thought about one time. Little Kim said, click the booty. Click the booty. Man. You know, one time you hit the pussy so good, you like, girl, I'm You ain't never ate your girl from the back and that motherfucker just sent up there, you like, I'm on it. No. Never? No, no. Never, never. We gotta no. give that a try. I that, no, I just go to that little spot right before you. <laughs> <laughs> nope. Right it's only like a... Right there. I hit right there. I don't know that. I think it's only like a little bit. You know that little half a centimeter. But, uh, but to play devil's advocate, that ain't some shit you just do with any yeah. and everybody. No, hell yeah. Like, yeah. like, yeah. like in, your, in your case, yeah. man, you, you smooth selling. Yeah. Like, nigga, that, that's your lady. Y'all yeah. niggas locked yeah. in. But, like, you just made the chick at the club and you fucking take her home you eating her ass you wild as fuck my nigga like bruh you wild bruh you wild you nigga what I mean I, I swear one time one time you know how you hit the pussy girl I'm gonna beat this shit again I'm thinking my head I'm gonna eat this ass no, but look, that, that's what niggas do. Like, nigga, they see a fine chick, like, damn, she's so fine, I eat her ass, type shit. Like, yeah, you say that say shit that, mentally, yeah, yeah. you ain't gonna really do it, but. Yeah, niggas do say that. Uh, I say that that's shit. Funny. Say that like, shit about like, a lot like, of people. Like, 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 you had to, like, like, huh? Dre, you ever seen Dre? Oh, yeah, the light skin. You, you, yeah, you hit that ass, you got that bitch ass. Yeah. I'm gonna just sit on my face. Y'all crazy. God, it's crazy. Oh, right, yeah. no. What am I saying? No, damn, nigga, fuck me over there. <laughs> oh, no, all right. So, with the motherfucking uh, eating pussy shit, like, did y'all have to perfect that shit? Definitely. You, you find niggas, like, eating your shit wrong? I know. Um, yeah, some, everybody don't know how to do that shit, right? Like, I remember uh, my nigga Randy, God rest his soul. He told me this shit. <laughs> like, nigga, make sure you eat the boat, the man on the boat. I'm like, the man on the boat? Oh, I know what you're talking what? about when you say that. He got like, attack the man on the boat, nigga. I'm about to click. So, I'm like, yeah. So, I'm like, nigga, the man on the boat. Like, then you'll figure it out. And once I start figuring that shit out, mm-hmm. Man, the boat was getting tapped, boy. When did you start boy. figuring out you think? I, shit, probably about... Was you a late starter or what? Late, I was late starter. I ain't gonna, I'm keeping G, like, nigga. I was late starter on that shit, probably. Like, hey, do you remember when you first started eating pussy? I do. Well, you were 16. Besides that one time. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> besides that one time. You were 16. No, nah, look. I remember when I first started eating pussy with my baby mommy and shit. It was this show 
Y'all probably remember he used to come on called Street Smarts. Yeah. And we used to watch we used to watch that shit. We made a bet whoever lose had the motherfucker uh do that shit. Yeah. And I remember, dog, but it's like nigga out the motherfucking gate, I hit the ground running, nigga. Like, like I said, I watched a lot of porn, so it was just like I don't know what the fuck to do. But on some G shit, every female like they pussy eight different fucking ways. Yeah. Some people like you to attack the man on the boat. Yeah, 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 Some yeah. of them, you know what I'm saying, you gotta get that finger up. You know what I'm saying? We ain't yeah. finna go all the right. <laughs> I'm gonna turn a bit to some, to some well, fucking sexy, egg, egg, egg sexy, shit. But I'm saying, like, all females like they shit eight different ways. You can't be with this chick and then eat her box the same way as you ate that one because yeah. it's different strokes so, with different so, folks. Yeah, you said just like, just like, you know what I'm saying? You got some chicks who, who try to top you off different. I, you be I like, no, nah, do that shit. I still might not be a perfect pussy eater, but I know. I know. I, I know in high school. I just know now. Nah, in high school, I was a PBE. The so. Like well, in high school, I did it probably like to about two different girls in my high school shit. Like when I was talking to girls and shit. Probably never do that shit so, in high school. So when I motherfucking get out of high school and go to college, then that's when I'm still fucking with my girl or whatever and shit. I feel like I was doing it wrong for sure because it wasn't like I don't know. I know I was doing it wrong because how I'm doing it yeah. once I got older. So once I was about like 20, 21, I was talking to this one chick and shit. The, I was talking until she stayed in Texas. That's when I was doing that <laughs> shit. I doing shit. And nigga, she like just basically just like Stop stopped me, me and just mm. like, come on, just fuck. <laughs> and my mom, like, I know I was doing that shit. Trash. Trash. I'm like, <laughs> but I'm like Trash. fucking dog. <laughs> but I was going, but you know, I do my thing on other shit. So that's when I started talking to the other chick or whatever. This was like, we was talking for a minute afterwards. We was work together on some bullshit. And that's when we start talking for real. I tried that shit. She like, Mac, let me just show you something right here. <laughs> <laughs> nigga, she put me up the game, nigga. I appreciate her for that Hell shit. Yeah. That's, that's real shit. shit. Yeah, we, we was cool, you like, you know what I'm saying? We, wasn't, we was fucking around for like a long time, but we uh -huh. went together together. Man. We fucked with each other for real though. Like friends or whatever. Yeah. So I did that shit. I'm like, hey, I always appreciate it. I told her, like, hey, good looking for that. Hell yeah, yeah. She like, showed me it, bro. Show me you know what I'm saying? I was I like, mean, never know, dog. Like, if I feel that little shaking the thighs, I'm doing a good job. Yeah. No homo. Like, oh, girls gotta learn how to get hit. Hell, yeah, fuck yeah. Yeah, you gotta learn. Like, hey, man, you be in that bitch. You, just you gotta learn. Not, yeah. You gotta learn. And you got, and if you don't like doing it, you ain't gonna never be good at it. Mm. Yeah. I, if man, you don't wanna do if it. If you don't like doing it, I don't think you're gonna that's be good at it. That's what I'm just saying. Hey, like, that's like, you shouldn't yeah. have to ask the chick. Like, if she yeah. if she just slapped that motherfucker on you, mm -hmm. you know yeah. you're like, She like doing it. She gonna know. She probably gonna know what she do. If you gotta ask, she probably gonna fuck around. And there's so many girls that I discovered don't. Suck dick. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I'm grown women tell me, uh uh, second no dick. That's crazy. I can't fuck with that. Would you date that? a girl that won't suck your dick? Well, fuck no. no we can fuck around. No, that's that's the first 20 minutes. No, no. That's the first 20 minutes. 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 That's I could change her. Yeah. This, thing was, hold on. No, this thing was getting not. good hand jobs. Not head. Not. Hand. Yes. What are you talking like? 1999? No, I'm talking about this girl. Not me. Not uh, me. Hand this, jobs. This was an old lady. Yeah, I'm cool on she that. Put on, you remember the Jordans? They had the uh, the Y'all niggas talking about hand jobs. Y'all niggas ever got a foot job? Foot job? I never got a foot job. I never got a foot job. I I'm hey, motherfucking playing around like this. Look, I, I, I ain't never had one, but on some G shit, I want to get one. <laughs> this is like the little Chinese lady. They cup their motherfucking <laughs> feet. Perfect. <laughs> Hey, that's some crazy no. shit. They make us like a pottery with their motherfucking feet. I'm See, sleeping. this nigga knows something. He knows <laughs> something. <laughs> they be putting powder on their feet. No, you know what I'm saying? Like, you know, you do the powder. powder. <laughs> motherfucker gotta cup their hands so they can. Like, that's bowl. how they do their feet. <laughs> Just imagine motherfucker got all these oils on their feet. They look at you in your eyes saying some old <laughs> shit. That you don't know what the fuck they say. No, no, it's levels to that shit, man. Man, man. That's crazy. So, shit, like, nigga, like, is it like. Uh, um, I want to say when you date a dude, is it a right time to be like I'm gonna let this pussy go? I mean, I mean, you, you know, you think, this, is, this is this is this is the absolute truth. A woman knows she gonna fuck you the first time. I heard that. She knows she wanna fuck or not. Now you, she might change her mind later on down the line, but if she ain't think like me, I know if I wanna fuck and I know. When I'm gonna do it, yeah. you know what I'm saying. So no, I don't be like I'm about to make him wait this mile time. I'm gonna yeah. do this because I mean. 
What if you just only want to fuck them? Like, yeah, you know yeah. what I mean? None of that's, 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 that's the thing. When motherfuckers be saying they're going to wait till marriage for pussy, but what if the pussy. Wait till marriage? What, what? I'm not about to marry yeah, them. That's, that's, like, that's like with the. Uh, with the uh, <laughs> what if your boss bag? Yeah. I, I, don't know, I don't know if I'm supposed to say yeah. Chaldeans or Arabs. Yeah. One of them is what they do. They call that shit the poop loop, dog. You heard about that? No. Hey, I'm going to put y'all up with some gang. Like I said, I don't know if I'm supposed to say Middle Easterns. Arabs and Chaldeans, but it's some shit that one of my Caucasian homeboys put me up on. That shit what called the poop loop. And it's like, <laughs> them girls let you fuck them in the ass, but you can't hit they pussy because they oh, gotta wait yeah. till they marry type yeah. shit. Yeah. Cool. Come on, I think with that, well, what if, like, what if I'm wet? What if you wet? Like, then what? what y'all, 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 like, y'all motherfucking like, grow together. Hey, right, y'all gotta fix the Man, Watch real yeah, sex uh, on some back in the day HBO no, type shit. That shit funny. I told you. Uh, 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 speaking of, nigga, like, we talking about the, the year and shit. Now, y'all know you had that uh, R. Kelly uh, series and shit. He did it. Now, you see it come out with part two. He did it. A documentary, like, dog, yeah, part two, nigga, new chicks. Like, dog, like, that shit, like, how wild is that shit, like, as far as, like, him? Dog, y'all believe this shit, or you think these bitches... These I ain't even watched that Survivor Killing <laughs> shit. You think these shit? chicks just coming out... I know he did it. Making, ...making this shit up, dog. You think every chick was hell, nigga, like, with... Under they will, nigga. Man, do you know. believe that was his know. brother? They, as he say in the tape. Like, like we already talked about the whole ass. He like, nigga. That's the first time I watched a, a sex tape with R. Kelly shit. Mm. We already talked about how he went to town on her ass. He did something. It's not gonna just come out of never all these different stories. Yeah, where is where smoke is fire? Like something going on. I don't yeah, believe this everybody so line, but then you know people get on the bandwagon mm-hmm. and start trying to. be it's like the whole Bill Cosby shit. Like, motherfucker, you came from 1960. God yeah. damn, you no, Bill Cosby ain't supposed to be in jail. Man, you went for 2019 and say this nigga had a baby. That shit whack, dog. Thing, even if he did that shit, why you gonna say shit back then? You gonna wait for right. 2018 to Looking say for a come up. That's man, oh. But you know, that's man, I just, I don't even well, know. Then, if if, any, if, if anything, I would have said, like, the nigga probably saw him a dream. He probably be on some shit, like, you wanna be in a movie? You know what I'm saying? And he, like, and he go back to the room and he fuck him and then don't put him in the movie and yeah. they feel, f- feel bad. Now they like, oh, I'm about to say you did this type yeah, shit. Man. Maybe, I don't know. But my, I, my thing but, is, though, like, I think back in the day, niggas was doing all type of junk to get ass. Chicks and women. I'm, niggas are slipping shit, nigga drinking shit, nigga smoking shit. Man, niggas do that shit, shit now, dog. <laughs> Niggas is, dog, on some real shit. I feel sorry for being females because on top of being all the shit y'all go through regularly, mm-hmm. y'all got to deal with these fuckboy ass niggas. And then, oh, and then the that new shit, shit and that sex trafficking shit. Yeah. That's yes. some scary ass hey, man, shit. Hey, it is scary. That shit is scary. I, like, I forgot for to real. ask y'all this shit. Have you, ever hit, have you ever hit chick on her period and you got hit on your period? I don't in real life. What about you, cuz? That shit scared me. Uh, a piece of and, uh, it probably, <laughs> a piece it probably like, like some, uh, some last day spot and shit. I ain't gonna lie. No, you can't. You so, can't. You can't do I mean, it. Right? I, I done been through the whole shit. I'm gonna tell you right now that motherfucking period juice and and condom uh shit is yeah, just stinking yeah. this motherfucking yeah. skin on earth. But now that shit scare you, and because even like you be like, because you be like, uh, oh, you on the period? I think so. Let's see. Motherfucker, you, you get the head and then you look at your dick and see a little blood residue. Like, damn, you wasn't all the way off, but it ain't that bad. <laughs> <laughs> hey, That's but the, hey, before we... Shit happens. <laughs> <laughs> before we switch off the whole, this shit, though, the best pussy in the world is pregnant pussy. God is that a truth? Damn it. Is that actually true? Hell yeah. It's ready, it's hot and ready already. Oh, you ain't got to spit, blow, oh. or nothing. That shit's so dead. stupid. I swear to <laughs> God. <laughs> That shit was a little motherfucker. Man, because my uh, first thing, see, I was thinking Nick, about... Look, niggas been saying that since the beginning of the times, but I want to interject. I don't know if that's the right word I'm supposed to use. They sound like some shit I'm supposed to use. Take it from T.I. vocabulary. Uh-huh. The best pussy is the pussy when she wants to fuck you. Like, for real. I don't know. That pretty pussy was coming different, though. Man. I don't know. Maybe if she was pretty pussy and she was ready at the same time. <laughs> that was all, all of the things. But I was like, God damn, puss. <laughs> Oh, but already white. Man, I just said that bitch ain't hand. Like, like hand, you said, white. Yo, like, both of y'all into that shit for real, for yeah, real. That's the best, man. That shit better. Y'all both like you tanking each other. That shit, yeah. yeah you get that big mama house I'm pretty. I'm telling you, dog, like that. That's the best, nigga. Her <laughs> shit be feeling like the bottom of the Pacific. What? And your shit be, look, your shit be motherfucking. Like, hammer, nigga, motherfucker. you be rocked up like, nigga, a motherfucking center block in the middle of the wintertime. Nigga, like, oh, we about to battle of the sexes right now. For real, dog. That's crazy. Dog, y'all. Silly. All right, man. We gonna switch a little bit, though. We talk about the R. Kelly shit. Like we gonna talk about some some uh 2019 shit, dog. This is as far as like some shit that went on. And how y'all feel about the whole Popeye chicken sandwich? Oh man, that bitch good. You just gotta get, get the Bayou uh, buffalo sauce with it. it. 
That's it. That's how you gotta order. You get that spicy chicken sandwich. Say, can I get an extra buy you buffalo sauce? It's gonna cost you twenty five cent. You know what I'm saying? I don't fuck with how the answer was on social media. I thought it was trash. I'm about to tell you. I ain't standing in line for two days for that bitch. Yeah, that was extra. People, first of all, I don't even trust it because I just feel like that's just too much chicken came out of nowhere too fast. It's big as fuck. That bitch big as this pop filter. And then it's healthy. But you know what I'm going to tell y'all? Like, I won't eat one. Like, the first time it was out, I had got one just on the hump. I wasn't even going there to get it. I'm like, I got a chicken sandwich. And then I was like, oh, it's good. But I never had another one after that. When they brought them back, I was like, I'm not going to eat one because I think it's probably something going on with it. Because, like, for example, that Impossible Whopper, do y'all know what's like hormones in there that make um, men grow breasts if, if they eat them that. like enough of them? I saw that. Like, on come on, man! Now watch, it's gonna come out with something like that about that damn chicken sandwich. <laughs> That's why I ain't messing with that. Hey, it's funny. I ain't got time. I don't know why. First thing I thought about was I don't want nothing for Popeyes. Period. That's what Rick the Islam said, on. though. I fucked with him while he was talking about The first thing shit. I thought about when he said made men grow breasts, like, with fat, yeah. niggas, with fat niggas fuck chicks and shit. <laughs> what? <laughs> and be breasts on breasts. I'm just like, bitch. No, I told you, nigga. What? <laughs> this nigga, <laughs> quick nigga, hit me. Yeah. And first thing I thought about, because this nigga, uh, 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 Hood Howard Stern, and this nigga was like, yeah, you know, he had a chicken shit. He got uh, complete butt naked. Yeah, I told her. Complete and, butt naked. And first, we was the first thing I thought about, you came from every chick like that, though, because, like, you don't, you don't like him like that. The first thing I thought about, titties on titties? No, and when nigga text me shit, first thing, I, I bust out laughing. You know how niggas say laugh out loud? Yeah. That's the first time I fucking did that shit. <laughs> the first thing I thought about, this nigga titties on her titties, that bitch is... Smacking each other, motherfucker. He said, I, got, I don't know. He said, I, I got completely butt naked. I don't understand how fat niggas be like playing and shit. Like, I, I admit to shit like that. Yes, no. titty on titty for chicks that no. I love, you know, that I like like that, face to face fucking yeah. shit. And I will put my stomach on the bitch's ass. Like, <laughs> That's it, but bro, what? I got to put it out the way. Do so you <laughs> not Do you not get butt naked to fuck all the time? No, no. a lot of times I got my oh. beater on. Sometimes I have my shit around yeah. my ankles. Hell my- no, ain't no nigga fucking me with no pants. And, I, and I'm for sure keeping my socks on, though. Your socks stay on. That's a given. Socks on. Hey, a lot of times you need your socks for socks leverage and shit. You know what I'm saying? When socks come off, I love you. I love you when socks come off. Girl, I love you. Socks don't count. Dog, man, hell no. But yeah, that was just a motherfucker quick segue because that shit was just. I thought about that shit when he said, when he said man growing breasts off that motherfucking sandwich and shit, dog. Hey, shit, we're we about to go ahead. Like I said, man, we've been through two decades 2000 and 2010. 2010, the motherfucking right now and shit. Like, nigga, what, what, what part of the decade did you enjoy? The early 2000s or the late 2000s? Like, as far as, I'm going to give y'all examples. Like, clothing. Mm-hmm. Which one was better? Like, these niggas with these tight-ass pants or these niggas with these loose-ass motherfucking size 40 pants? I like I like the early 2000s because it's just the music and the vibe oh, yeah, was the different. Music, yeah. And think about, yeah. dog, because... Name, name some of them people you were fucking with back then. Cause we was just talking about that well, shit. Musically, yeah. Master P. Yeah. Wasn't we listening to Master P back then? In 2000, it was more we, so. We, we, it was kind of crossing over a little bit. 2000. Cause was it was kind. 2000 was kind of like the 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 cash, cash money. money. Cash yeah. money. Two, 2000s, yeah. Cash money. New York had that shit. Yeah. Nas, yeah. J, yeah. Dipset, yeah. G Unit. But remember, like the low key niggas, nigga, mm-hmm. Lil Flip was killing nigga in the first part. Underground of Legend, yeah. one of my favorite CDs, Dog, came out two thousand four. Lil fucking Flip, and then you had Ti first starting. Ti, yep. Well, er, well, Jeezy came out like 05, 05, with 05. Jeezy. Actually, came out in 04, but, but 05, see, that's like when he popped with Chopper Dad, three, not Chopper Dad, but uh, my let's three, get it. My three favorite albums, dog, during that time was the Carter One, Get Rich Without Trying, and then first Jeezy. Those three albums killed that whole little You know what's one of the best eras that only lasts for like two years, if that? What? The Crunk era. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, with Lil Johnny. Nigga! Yeah, yeah. Lil Johnny! Yeah. 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 Nigga, me and my nigga yeah. tore up plenty hotel parties off that. <laughs> Bitch, nigga, you would never, ever, yeah. ever, yeah. ever, yeah. ever, yeah. ever, yeah. ever. Yeah. Oh, that man. Sick. Lil Johnny. You don't want yeah, no problems, problems, yeah, man. Yeah. That's what yeah. Nigga, Young sweet. Buzz, you don't give a damn, we don't give a fuck. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, that was the shit. That oh. was the shit. Hey, Young Buzz album was probably, that's an underrated Yes, album. nigga, Cashville, straight out of Cashville. That was, that was a dog. Shorty wanna shit. ride with me? To me. We can get yeah. low. To me. No, yeah, that's the that. shit. That the nigga, niggas talk about Get Rich Without Trying. And niggas talk about the documentary, but that Young Buck first album, dog, is right there with them niggas, dog. Yeah. I'm telling you, that shit was hard. This ain't dog. got shit to do with Crunk, but nigga, Tony Ayo first album, Thoughts of a Predicate Fun. Yeah. That bitch I was a G that. unit. Oh, man. Who, who, who some niggas you When did with? Port of Miami first come out? The original. Oh, shit. That was like, what, 06? I'm about to say 06. That was a, that was a classic. Yeah. Every that, day that, I'm hustling. That still, you think that's his best album? 
for my. And I don't know about his best album. I love mm. any. I love all of Ross. Ross, Ross cold as hell Ross, with that he wordplay. He's just sick. Yeah, that nigga that, cold with that the shit was play. sweet. Though. I remember my aunt put me on that shit. But then you got the game is the most underrated nigga because I, I game yeah, sweet. Like me and Chichi was saying that nigga do some fuck shit. He do a lot. But music of fuck wise, shit. that nigga but rapping some wise, shit. He, he rapped the cold. whole song backwards on his new album. Yeah, yeah, that was the We Want Part Two. Yeah, Nas did it first though. So. He yeah, did. Yeah, yeah. No, yeah. For, real? for real, I'm not a big Nas fan. Oh, I think he fine as hell, but I don't know his music. I don't know no so about who, that. So who, who some people you were fucking with like from just this whole 2000 shit? Um, who your who your who your go to shit like popping in? Dog, yo old go to. What? Gucci. Oh, she love Gucci. I remember that shit. Yeah. 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 And that was a Gucci fan. I love being a Gucci fan <laughs> like that. Me Every neither. Gucci app. But I'm talking about that old Gucci from a long time ago. You listen to OJ Juice Man then. Juice man. Like, like, like Black T, like Rob and my Black T. No, like, so Icy was my shit. Everybody yeah. looking. Lemonade that, shit. yeah. But that's not with that, that shit. That used to pop off in the club. That song you said? Yeah. Oh, my God. Talk about that mixtape Gucci that had motherfucking Swing my dough. Swing my dough. And that was Chambers. Swing my dough. That kind of, yeah. Yeah, that mixtape like, with that Nicki on that old Nicki. But I, like, who's some whack niggas you listen to back in the early 2000s? Whack? Who, who you got? I don't want to call You look at now, like, damn, that shit. Niggas black. who ain't popping no more, I just say that. Like, baby boy. Chingy. We talking about Chingy. Chingy's my yeah. nigga. Nah, I don't fuck with Chingy. He uh, wasn't whack, though. But he no, was nigga. What's the sweetest nigga on the St. Louis though? though? The nigga with Murphy no, Lee. Murphy Lee. Murphy Lee. Murphy Lee. What the hook gonna be? Yeah, that's on sweet as hell, dog. So that shit Feel my op Niggas forgot about that I remember Nelly? Nelly Nigga that first Nelly Nelly was, was my classic. nigga Like to this day underlay, underlay. Hey <laughs> Must be the money That's the <laughs> shit That first Nelly album Was a classic Yeah A fucking classic Country then, Grammar DMS was the Realest nigga ever I love That's my DMS. favorite rap Nigga that's one of my fa- That's my yeah. number three Favorite rapper ever That's my favorite That's one of my that's, He my top He my top ten for sure My top five He my top ten for sure Then you got Like I said Lil Flip album was cold T.I. album was better In the early part of 2000 Than he is now I'm serious this is when I got hooked on T.I. Yeah. The song with Beanie Man and shit. Oh, yeah. My shit, Urban Legends when I really yeah, Urban Legends when I started fucking with I think that was, after, I think that was the next one. It was like the third one. I had I'm Serious. Cause you I'm had, Serious had that two what, short track on it. I forgot what's it. I Can't it. Can Be Your Man was the shit. At the end, the nigga talking about, you in the goddamn living room over the goddamn <laughs> motherfucking living room furniture and shit. No, whole, that nigga went hard the at the end. The first part of 2000 was all about cash money, though. Cash money, yeah. Like for nigga, the 9 niggas, 9 and the 2000 Them niggas influenced me to rap, dog. <laughs> Somebody like, had to say it. Hell yeah. <laughs> like, nigga, like, Juvenile. Nigga, BG was the... Turk, Lil Wayne. Yeah. Like, Manny Fresh. 500, uh, Guerrilla Warfare. All that shit. I got that work. The block is hot. Lights out. Right. G Cole. Man, yeah. That's why Check I say Manny Fresh is motherfucking top five producers ever. Hell yeah. Yeah, he, he, yeah man. That was my shit. Because he switched the whole That's little sound as far as, like, making beats and everything like that. He still making beats? Hell yeah. Oh, okay. Hell, but he just ain't, you know, out there like that for real. Baby fucked that nigga up and shit. Because yeah. I remember uh, Jay-Z was trying to sign that nigga for, to Rock Nation, but Baby stopped that shit. Trying to sign who? Uh, Manny Fresh. Hmm. So, yeah, man. But yeah, what about, uh, what, what's some other shit, like, in the early part of 2000 that's different from now? Like, what y'all feel like? Even the looks. Cause I remember girls rock, rocking yeah. the listens. Yeah, looks, lingo, yeah. all that shit. Yeah. yeah. I remember girls rock, rocking them see-through motherfucking shoes. Girls weren't getting surgeries back then, too. Like, yeah. that's a thing. Shit was now. natural. Yeah. yeah. Like, when you, look at, when you look at Cherokee. Like, if he was fine, Cherokee, he was fine. Cherokee had that ass. <laughs> now, every girl you look at Instagram, got that ass. But <laughs> that shit ain't got that ass like Cherokee had that ass type Duh. shit. <laughs> like, even the braids. Me and you was rocking the braids. Like Ray, my nigga, I have all, I influenced Duh. all that Ray shit. The thing. Iverson was the motherfucking realest nigga back then, cause he was a nigga, the first nigga really in the NBA with tattoos. Hey. Had the motherfucking braids. And if you, if you go back and you fucking look at that shit, niggas in the NBA had big ass suits and shit with like they motherfucking arms barely hanging yeah. out them bitches and type Duh. shit. Just, Looking yeah. goofy as hey, fuck. What, what was you about to say? I was about to say, remember going downtown and you couldn't even oh, hardly get through the tunnel when this be packed. Downtown, like even like the motherfucking uh, Bell Howell was there. It was always yeah, packed. You couldn't even get down Jefferson in bitch. 2000. Like, what? Was, was y'all hitting the clubs up back then? Yeah, I was partying. I had a fake ID. I ain't never been no club, mm-hmm. nigga, dog. I always been the type of nigga like, like, my niggas going to the club. I'm about to go with the chicks, eh, dog. Mm-hmm. Yeah, like, oh, fuck the club. Man, I be in the club every fucking day, hey, nigga. Two out two days. I ain't, look, I ain't start, look, I ain't start my fucking venturing to the clubs wow, like man. when I was doing music and shit. But other than that, it's like, dog, I don't give a fuck about the club, man. Man, hell no. I used I to, did. nigga, I used to be in that bitch every fucking other day. Yeah, I was trying to do the most. Like, the Drews had, like, go ahead and say Andrews, Zubar, Kingdom, Plan B. Motherfucker, what's that shit off the river? Vondi's on the river. Like, I was going everywhere, dog. 
Like that's another thing. Like this is a totally different, different. But I remember having diarrhea in the club. Nice. Yeah, motherfucker, had to shit in the club. <laughs> <laughs> like, what's the what's the weirdest place y'all had diarrhea? Man, like, you hell shit, no, I'm not pass. Alright, uh, <laughs> Hey, school. Hold on, real quick. Go ahead, go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. No, no, I'm, I'm, I got it. Right, Cause school, I remember this shit. Don't give a guy shit, nigga, for Detroit Road School. I don't know about the girls' bathroom. You shit in the teachers' lounge. No, boy bathroom has no fucking doors, nigga. That's why you go to the teachers' lounge. I, I, me and my nigga Chris. Shout out my nigga Chris. <laughs> nigga, we, we's the only nigga shitting in the teachers' lounge. Not together or no shit like that. But <laughs> that was your like, like, It's like, about. nigga, like, I'm about to go to the teachers' lounge. Like, nigga, I'll be damned if I'm about to shit in a regular with every regular nigga shit. I'm about to shit with a teacher shit. I be that LD star. You like big star and shit? LD star. So we yeah. And <laughs> hey, niggas don't even know what LD is. That's a, that's some old school that, shit. No, but, that no, but back in the day we used to call that shit LD. Like I know what you talking about. <laughs> what is LD? Like learning disability? No, we gonna yeah, that's that's what it is. You are LD. <laughs> you can't be an LD. And we had, you LD. In seventh grade we had beef with LD niggas, dog. <laughs> <laughs> I swear to God, I cannot make no. this shit up. You call nigga LD, nigga. That's like, nigga, you go to jail right now, call nigga LD. Hell yeah. Right. That's, that's a special. motherfucker. Mario, LD as hell. Like, with LD. <laughs> I'm on my son LD. He know what the fuck I'm talking about. Nigga, you LD. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, you LD. 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 Like, and uh, my mom made some fucking chili. So, nigga, I'm Damn. eating chili, nigga. Yeah, chili <laughs> you already know what's up. So, I'm eating chili. And on top of that, I'm drinking motherfucking 1800. Mm. So, by the time I get to the same, to, to, to the Drews, my stomach rumbling. Y'all yeah, know how club bathrooms be. Nasty as fuck. Nasty in the motherfucking school bathrooms. <laughs> so, I'm in that bitch like, man, hey, hey, Weez, I'm about to go. I got to take a shit, bro. My shit rumbling, nigga. I went that bitch, nigga. My man, niggas in that bitch. I'm in that bitch letting it go. Hey, hey. That bitch, hey. That bitch oh smell like motherfucking God. juice, nigga. Queen, queen. I'm in that motherfucker. Hey, I'm going, hey, hey. I'm going ham, oh. nigga. That shit just got the mixing. It was a bad combination. That motherfucker came out like a motherfucker boiled oh. hot dog mm. water shit. That shit was going like, ah. <laughs> so, nigga. I come back out like wow, you gotta be nigga. comfortable dancing because you know nigga your motherfucker used to this dumb ass shit girl dancing like, hey girl can you back up a little bit I, motherfucker had diarrhea about five minutes ago but what's the worst shit like nigga you had to shit take a shit like at work oh my god somebody crib like you ever had to take a shit of your, of your significant other crib like damn I'm not gonna talk about this with y'all right, <laughs> hey I remember uh, I got two stories nigga look <laughs> Was that 97 when motherfucking um, Life After Death came out? Yeah, that's it. I'm over my nigga Greg crib. Man, we still young as hell in middle school, dog. Man, I blow this nigga bathroom up. This nigga mama like, your friend can't come back over here no more. Duh. He just stuck up the whole house. Duh. And I'm a little ass nigga. And then fast forward, this is a couple years ago. When the nigga Martin first came back to do comedy. Yeah. It's me, my baby mama, my homeboy B Real, and his <laughs> chicken shit. Mind you, before we even go out there, I smash a whole, I want to say, pint of coconut Ciroc and shit, because that was a popping at the time. Yeah. I'm ironing my clothes, drinking that shit. We get to the show, I get, I drink beers. Nigga, before, I didn't even see the nigga Martin and shit. I'm in the bathroom, shitting and throwing up and shit. Damn. And then my, uh, my nigga, my nigga he, t- he told me, he was like, man, yeah, man. Blah, blah, blah. I was like, man, go check on him. I'm, man, he like, he come back on the start. Hey, cuz, you good, cuz? Man. Nigga, I'm in that bitch. Dead missed the whole show. Duh. I done missed a lot of whole shows on some dumb shit. Hey, nigga, you talking about shit? Like, nigga, you have a friend while you have a sex, nigga? No. I have, bro. <laughs> I mean, bitch, nigga, get, nigga, she on top of that. Prank, 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 prank. Shit, top the whole the little chick shit. The chick probably in her sleep. I told her about the next morning. She was uh-huh. all embarrassed, but I don't <laughs> No, I ain't far doing the action, nigga. But one like, thing you never do, you never fart under the covers. Oh, I do that shit, then put the cover over head. No, dude. no, because they call that's that sh- nasty. Look, look, look. If you, if, you, if you fart under the covers, you motherfucking checking all that shit, and that shit called a Dutch oven and shit. No, that's why, like, you feel like you got to fart. You got to get from under the I cover, like, then you fart. Let I that feel shit like you're supposed to keep that shit to yourself. Don't be around me farting and burping and all that, because I don't So you don't fart around your nigga? No, never. Not once. See, I think we, we, we vibe you and hold we it fart, in? though. I mean, if I got a fire, I will get up and go in the bathroom. No, I literally I want, never fire in front of him. I want you he to can't fart. tell you one time. Fire by me. Or I don't I'm never gonna... burp in front of him. What? Oh, never good. do that. That shit is nasty. I don't like him burping in front of me, and I feel like I got to roll the window So you ain't, never, you ain't never shitted while your nigga was in the same? I mean, yeah, I mean, you know what I'm saying? Of course. I 
I mean, of course I, just, I do. Just today, when I get my hair, I brush my teeth with my girl shitting. But he do it with the door <laughs> open. I don't be doing that. I keep brushing yeah, to myself. I'm in there brushing my teeth while she's shitting and shit. Oh, I thought you used to brush. You be in there while I'm brushing your teeth while I can't handle nobody bathroom. She flushed before you got done. Do you courtesy flush? For what? I do. Hey, young and I hate people that don't courtesy flush. Young and Hey, shout out to her. She made me learn that shit because she was mad as fuck. Somebody took a shit in her shit. Just keep letting her just sit there. No, you got to do that. Like, you got that diarrhea shit, you got a courtesy flush. No matter what. If I smell it or any time, I'm dropping that bitch, though. If I drop a couple of blue, I'm going to be hint, hint, hint. Come on, come on, come on. Sleep. Nasty. Me and my baby be having a whole conversation while I'm shitting. No, so what you ain't supposed to have your shit and all the toilet tissue on that shit that's and try to bad. flush it. That's, 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 that's how you got a motherfucking. Once that shit First, you gotta put up. a little bit of tissue down in the toilet so you don't splash. Let me ask y'all this thing. I'll just do that shit on the rim if I'm out of public that's, like at work. Let's ask some crazy shit real quick. I'm gonna I'm talk so crazy shit. Now. So when you <laughs> shitting, yes. do you waste the tissue by just wiping one time and letting that bitch go? He said waste. What? He wasting tissue. Me, why well, she got a white fold? Oh, I white yeah, y'all niggas. Fold. Oh, <laughs> that's what the fuck y'all like. Oh, hey, hey, niggas. hey, on some real shit. Hey, sure. depending on how, oh, on how your pole game is, you can fold that bitch on some old, old origami type shit, dog. <laughs> 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 oh, <laughs> what? I'm crazy. Wait, but do y'all be wiping your hand or do y'all ball the tissue? Nah, hell no. If you got if a nigga wrapping toilet paper on his hand, he a bitch. I don't give a fuck what you talking about. Okay, nigga, on some real shit. Nigga need like a couple. Squares, yeah, I mean, you on bitch? Hold that shit. Like, you bitch. Come on, cuz. Right. White, fold, white, fold. Hey, while we on this shit, on some real shit, the toilet seat goes down. Do not leave the toilet seat up. What you mean, the lid? Yeah, regardless. Everything. Oh, yeah. Go uh, take so it down. We done. We done. Even when you piss and shit. Because like, I, I got a little mama. I wanted to go in the bathroom yeah. and fall yeah, in. Like, yeah. no, you got to lift that shit up. But like, see, you know that shit. stay close. With, with your mama and shit, she cuts you off, nigga, ass, then fucking did a little deep deep dive and shit real quick. Niggas don't even be lifting up the toilet seat to pee. No, that's not. No, I mean, like, lift the, lift the close they don't the be whole it up. shit. They be though. peeing no. and then wipe the toilet off. Like, close the whole nasty. shit. Like, I don't even want it down with the little seat. Close the whole lid. I don't just want my That's what I'm saying. Like, oh, close it. Oh, like, I know. Because they, they say, they, I mean, I ain't. Bacteria. This shit sound crazy, Bacteria. but they say rats be coming through the sewer line and shit. So I don't know if a rat just popping up. Somebody goddamn. I, 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 just all right, this one thing. I don't, I don't ever close the whole thing. I bet that bitch. No, the whole the thing get closed. Shit. Nigga, like, jack in the box. Close no, that bitch. I close it. Damn, that's what I might try to I mean, he been pissed and shit in that motherfucker for years. Like, yeah. you just want to have it open. It is open. Open like invitation for anything, but nigga. Anything. An alligator right. might come through that bitch. An alligator. <laughs> <laughs> if I say hey, but that's one thing my mom told me my first day of school. If I got shit, she first she told me don't never. If I got these bathroom and teacher say no, walk out. But then she yeah. take a shit, make sure you wrap that motherfucker toilet seat. Yeah, yeah, hell yeah. You drink that bitch up. Get that nigga. cushion. Hell yeah, because you don't want to go on no bare ass and shit. Yeah. You motherfucker around catching bumps on your motherfucking ass. Catch some bumps on your ass. That's what my mom said. You gonna catch some bumps, motherfucker? I'm like, all right, I'm gonna make sure I wrap that seat up. <laughs> <laughs> Speaking of, did y'all watch Power Dog? Y'all Power Watchers? I love yeah. Power. Who shot Ghost? That shit weak. That shit, this last season was weak as hell. Terrible. You think so? No, that shit was live. I ain't like it. It's about to come back on in January, yeah. right? They got My thing is this. I'm going to yeah. tell y'all right now. Y'all going to rewind this Hold shit on, back. Who, who shot Ghost? No, none of them niggas. Don't find out. Nobody who, who, who do y'all think shot Ghost? It's somebody from Power Watchers. Fucking, it's somebody from this fucking deep if I If I had a pick, and I ain't been watching no spoilers because I don't want that shit spoiled, but I say Tariq. And the reason I say Tariq when the nigga fell, if you look at the nigga eyes, he was like on some nigga, I can't believe nigga like what? Like any of them other niggas would have shot him. I think him. it might have been Ramon. It might have been Tate. Or it could have been Tasha, that's the only one. Then, like, Tasha when you, have killed enough people already. When you when you watch the little previews of it, like Tariq just be like, My daddy was shot? Oh, I can't believe it. Like, why do you guys tell me? Like, take so bitch. See, my, that's what they want y'all to think was one of them niggas. I think it's somebody from his past, dog. Cause remember, that might be. Season one, he killed this. His, his protege, that black young dude, I forgot his name, but he killed him because 50 Lies said it might have been him that was fucking up the money. So it could have been somebody from his past that yeah. killed him and just caught up with him. I don't think it's none of them niggas. Yeah, rolling. Yeah. I don't think it's none of them niggas that y'all think because that's that's the obvious. I think it's somebody from his fucking it past. Tiny. It could have been somebody who killed Milan. It, it could have been tiny. one of Milan people's. You remember he he yeah, killed that nigga off him. It could have been one of Dre. It wasn't Dre. Dre a bitch no, ass bitch. nigga. I it can't could have wait been to that nigga down. <laughs> It could have been Lobos when his people nigga. It could have been uh, one of uh, what's the nigga off of Martin <laughs> nigga? Yeah, we angry in the motherfucker. Louise, what's Louise him. name on power? It could be one of his people. I think it's somebody you don't expect, dog. They want y'all to think it's one of them motherfucking hoe ass niggas, but it's not. Maybe it's somebody that came back. But it's from like the past. it's like, like, it's like, like seven. Said, like, look, one of his um, what you call them, premiers? 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was yeah. like seven niggas lined up that could have did it. Like that's a lot. I don't of think niggas, it's none of them, dog. I don't think it's none it wasn't of them. Cooper Sacks. I can tell you that. No, no, no. It wasn't Angela's sister. No, no. Hell, she a whack. She wouldn't have did that. Like this season was whack. It wasn't like, Tate. It was whack, dog. The whole acting, like nigga Tommy Goons was whack as fuck. The black nigga who got killed, and then the two niggas in jail, who like A. Griffin and, 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 and one Ghost nigga. Keep, and Ghost teamed up with them niggas, so he about to put a play together. Yeah. So them niggas on some shit like we want Tommy. Yeah. So if Tommy, Tommy did Tommy the, do it, Tommy is the realest nigga on the show. To me, he he a nigga I root for. Yeah, I fuck with Tommy. Ghost my favorite character. Ghost dog. was sweet, but then he started Ghost coming wet. He started Ghost coming my wet. favorite character. Like, he don't give a fuck. About I feel you. like Ghost do what he gotta do, dog. That nigga told his son. Ghost he got smart as hell, but Ghost only be out for himself. He don't give a fuck about nobody else. I'm talking about nobody. Hell no. Nah. And he's starting to fucking get get he's dumb. Selfish. So he was uh dumb. was Keisha supposed to die? Hell, she should have been dead. Sure. She should have been dead. Yeah, she had. But to then go. you got Tasha. She if y'all peep. She lost the earring in that bitch. So the earring gonna come back up. She lost the earring in yeah. there? Yeah. I noticed that. Look at that shit again. She had the right earring in and the left earring was gone. I so that shit gonna come back that she murdered that motherfucker. And it's just, man, I don't know, dog. I just, I like the first four seasons, dog. But then those last couple of ones, it's like everything was rushed. Like they were packing too much shit into one episode. Like it was too much going on. Everybody became a snitch. Tommy became a snitch in one episode. Uh, Tasha and Ghost. Same uh, what's, episode. What's, damn, I forgot the lawyer. Life, Proctor. Proctor. I, ain't, man, I ain't want Proctor to die. Me neither. And like that, that nigga lit like that crib up. Yeah, he was low as hell, dog. He lit that bitch up. Tommy, you're crazy, motherfucker. Yeah, he a realest nigga, though, on that bitch, though. But then, like, man, what's better, y'all think? Uh, power or Can't compare him. Uh, Snowfall. You can't compare him. No, Snowfall, Snowfall good as hell. Can't compare him. I, I ain't talking about that. Empire? Even though Snowfall is the best Don't show Don't say Empire. Ever. Uh, the Wire. Oh. Yeah. Ah, you can't compare him, in my, in my mm. opinion. The they Wire is a classic. Yeah. I think that's a All right, so look, who, who 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 you rooting for? Info My nigga what? Marlo. You already uh, know. The, you already know the next name. Uh, wait, I, wait, wait, wait. Marlo. Stringer Bell died. Stringer Bell died. Stringer Bell. But what's the other one? Name? What's, was, what's who was Stringer? Who I, was the guy working with uh, Stringer? Uh, 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 um, what's in the nigga went to jail? Uh, yeah. Will Harris character. Will Harris. Who was it? What was his name? I forgot his name. I was trying to let y'all throw it out there. Yeah. What is think his name? But see, I don't like root for the little but nigga. But I like Marlo. What's the little nigga name? No, I Who'll like singing and shit. Mike. Yeah, that nigga. Was my Tristan nigga, Wiles. Yeah, Tristan yeah, yeah. Man, 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 why, yep. That nigga was the nigga I was. He was. No, because all the niggas fucked up. Like Dookie, Dookie turned out to be a fiend. Yeah, little nigga. Randy up. turned out to be a snitch. And uh. Who the other little nigga? My man tightened up, though. Nigga that's working at the shit. Oh, uh, we, we based on turn out to be a bitch ass nigga. <laughs> yeah, yeah, man, I'm about to go watch that shit. He turned out to be a regular ass yeah, nigga. He, 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 he was ready for that life, though. He was ready for that life, though. Yeah, he regular. He a civilian, shit. Yeah. Dang. I, I miss the life. I fuck with Marla. I miss old... That's why I miss old TV shows. What's y'all favorite TV shows from the early 2000s, man? Favorite TV show? Nightmare Nights. Oh, no, what, what the fuck was 2000s? You got to think about uh, Moesha... Well, not 90s? That's like late 90s. All right, what's your favorite old TV shows then? I don't know. I got to pull up Martin? Google, dog. That's Mar 90s. Martin's the best. We, we, we ain't got to go 2000. We just go old TV shows from our childhood. What's your favorite shit? Um, shit, I used to like to watch Jerry Springer because I thought that was really <laughs> Jerry, funny. Hey, Jerry! That's what I said, fun. Jerry Springer. <laughs> that shit ass, nah. Was that one shit, though? Uh, Jenny Jones. I love uh -huh. Jenny Jones. Jenny Jones, Ricky, Ricky Lake. Lake. Ricky Lake, yeah. Motherfucker, who died on, one, on that show? Uh, remember he he found out a dude liked him and he killed him or some shit. I didn't know about that. That, yeah, was, that was Jenny Jones. That was Jenny Jones. Yep, yep, yep. The nigga killed the nigga with his lover and shit. Did y'all used to watch Real World? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's that's when reality TV was good. Like Real World, Making the Bad, College Hill. Man, Mark. I remember Real World when my man came on that bitch Karamo. Who? Dog, he was the he was the black gay dude on Real World. Oh, okay. God. We seen the previews and shit. This nigga come on jeans and Tim's and shit. I'm like, damn, they finally got a regular nigga on this bitch, like a real nigga. He got on this bitch, he a whole fag. Like, is that the dude who smacked the old girl when she was getting in the car? Yeah, the white chick. Yes, yeah, I remember that shit. I thought he was nigga, an OG. Like, the nigga, the nigga was saying like goodbye to her and shit. She got in the car. He opened up the door like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Smacked Smack her, closed the door. No, like, but the Aww. best reality show was, nigga, the band and um, Love and Hip Hop. I mean, not Love and Hip Hop. What the fuck am I talking about? Cheaters. That no. was the best reality oh, no. show. Oh, no. I'm glad that bitch ass nigga Joey Greco got stabbed on the boat. You on some whole shit, nigga. Why the fuck you doing that shit? He got stabbed. He got stabbed one time on the episode. But I didn't know that. He got stabbed right on the side, nigga. I remember that shit. And nigga, nigga, like, cut the show. Cut, 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 cut. 
Yeah, you got some old ass shit, dog. <laughs> hey, one of the other things. Hey, about, uh, cheaters, it was uh, oh, the other how shit. How to Catch a Predator. No, that one shit, they be on a bus. Um, and they come off. That was my favorite Fifth show. Wheel. Fifth yeah, Wheel. Fifth Wheel. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Hey, because look, it, it'd be like two chicks, two dudes, and they hitting it off. And then yeah. either the dude come in or the yeah, chick come yeah, yeah. in, and that shit get. Wow. Corny was next, though. Shit. Next, next. That's, that, that's the MTV shit, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But that's yeah. when reality TV was good. Like, making the band niggas fight. Home Raiders, remember that shit, dog? Oh, yeah. Hey, my boy cut on that black light. Oh, yeah. Semen on the bed. <laughs> <laughs> hey, remember man. this is your mama. Remember your mama. Man, oh hell yeah! yeah. When they just, your mama. No, they talking about talking about nigga yeah. mama so fat. Da 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 da. And then they go in, they go in their house <laughs> and try to figure out some little shit they can use for them against in the roast and shit, dog. That was a real show. Man. Yeah. yeah dog. Like, that's what TV was like, nigga. T fucking V, nigga. Like that shit was the truth, nigga. Like for real. Uh, but nigga, wasn't it started that whole shit? He should be getting paid right now. Who? Flavor Flav. Oh, oh, I used to watch Flavor, Flavor. And Delicious yeah. was ugly no, as hell back no. then. I see, I remember one time. She ugly now, look, but look, look, she was regular. I think she ugly. Look, I think she doing shit. too much of her I remember one face. time I, I went to Fairlane, we, me and my nigga Flip and shit. We had got out the car, we walking through the parking lot. I actually was asking It was this lady, uh-huh. light skin with the asses looking like. I don't even can't describe it because ain't nothing down here big as her ass can describe it. <laughs> but she she just said, hey, how you doing? Dog, nigga. <laughs> Where words come from, I don't know. I couldn't find words to even say nothing. Back up, just look alike. It, it was delicious. <laughs> it was her. And then what's so crazy, I remember when I first bought my motherfucking uh, Lincoln Town car, because she used to work at the State Farm on Jefferson. She was my motherfucking insurance agent. I mean, her name, her real name out there, so I ain't snitching. Her yeah. name was London Charles, mm-hmm. and she was my insurance lady and shit. I remember, but that's her real name. Yeah. yeah. Oh, okay. She was motherfucking doing the paperwork, like, and then you got to walk to the little fax machine. She got up to go fucking get the shit. I'm just looking like, oh my goodness, my mama right here though. And I'm just like, oh man. Yeah, you had you had insurance back then. Yeah. I didn't have insurance for Cause also, time. look, look, let me take my hand insurance. Cause that's around the time when we talking about shows. Pin my ride was out. I bought oh, a 19. Look, 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 look. I bought a 1990 Lincoln Town Car in my mind. I'm about to pin my shit out. Like, oh yeah. nigga, what? Well, I'm about to. Oh, I'm about to do this. Yeah. I'm about to do that. So I'm about to get full cover insurance. Pay five hundred dollars for that piece of shit car that I had to put in the shop every motherfucking month, dog. Man. This is the first yeah. time I had consistent insurance in a long time, man. Like, I had uh, insurance for a year and a half. I never had that shit that long. I get like the little three month little shit, bam, nigga, I'm done. Man, man. that shit a rip off, but you need that shit. You do you need, need it, that nigga. shit. I, I, I came, I moved back from Texas to Detroit, nigga, and I was riding on no insurance, a suspended license, expired plates. Okay, he was out here sure. <laughs> <laughs> Nigga, when I got to, like I said, that accident yeah. back in 2018, the only thing that saved me was I got insurance. Two days before I got to ask it. If it wasn't for that, nigga, I would be in jail. Spider yeah. motherfucking places like a motherfucker, nigga. Hey, I made it. I was I drove all the way from Texas, nigga, with nothing, nigga. Scared as hell, dog. Going through the craziest it was motherfucking time. I would have never did it. Man. I was a brave man. Hell yeah. Now shit, we gonna talk about some albums, man. 2019. What y'all felt like was some of the best albums? If y'all don't know, I'm gonna name a couple of motherfucking uh two chain had C D come out, rapper go to the lead. You got that was this year? Yeah, you got Dreamville had that little shit come out. Like that. that motherfucking uh new the new Port Miami too. You had motherfucking Kanye West that Jesus is a King. Uh motherfucking I didn't listen to that. Young Thug. My favorite album of the year though was uh YBN Corday, dog, Lost Boy. That nigga was spinning some shit. Like if y'all ain't heard that shit, go listen to it. You got Polo G album came out. You got motherfucking the baby shit came out that Baby Kurt. shit was called Kurt. You got uh YG came out. Uh for real, for real. You got motherfucking Offset shit. I gotta got look at my albums. My you got motherfucking uh, Big Crit shit came out. Off the dribble. The, it's like only three albums that I know that I fuck with. Like, this shit was like the trashiest year for CDs to me. No, because like, so. like off the dribble, like the three albums that I know I listen to. I mean, it was my nigga Boosie. Yeah. Talk That Shit, Goat Talk, and, and Badass Zay. I know for a fact them three albums I resonated with. Yeah. Baby Shit, Kirk, I fuck with that. Yeah, that was cool. Yeah, baby uh, shit, yeah. I fuck with uh, the 2 chain shit, the rapper go to the lead. That shit was I gotta go to see what else came out there. Y'all don't probably mess with this, but Summer Walker over Summer Walker sweet as hell. Her old album. But my fun. thing is this, though. Me and I Pop seen the picture of Summer it. Walker see when she had all them condoms and shit on. Condoms? Yeah. She had some on. She like, she smelled like mayonnaise. But my, my thing is this, though, nigga, with her, dog. I love her music. I love everything as far as her features. For real, for real. That's YG album. But, nigga, when she was saying, like, this whole little... What's the word? Anxiety shit. Yeah. And shit. But my thing is, how how do you got this anxiety shit, but you was a stripper back in the day? 
She was a stripper? Yeah. I didn't know that. I didn't know two that. Two albums, two albums that you yeah. forgot. Well, you ain't you ain't name all the albums, but nigga, how could you forget El Capo and Family Time? Oh, nigga, god damn it. Fat Joe Jim and Jim Jones, Jones them yeah, albums yeah, was hard, yeah, right, dog. Right. Jim yeah. was hard. Fat, I, ain't, I, ain't, uh, I fat, forgot. I listened to Fat Joe shit like twice, so I can't really deep dive in it. But Lost Jim, Tapes, too. I was fucking with it. I love Nas, but I think it could have been better. My favorite album, nigga, was like I said, YBN Corday, The Two Chains, The Game. And that motherfucker Jim Jones was sweet. What about that Rick Ross? Y'all wasn't fucking with the new Rick? Ross was straight. I forgot about Jeezy and Ross shit. Jeezy was straight, but it wasn't like... I don't know. I don't know about no whole album I yeah. enjoyed. Like a whole album, except for Summers. I'm telling you, like, plush play album. Nah, and Summer Walker, some but jams, I'm, yeah. I'm waiting, for, uh, I'm waiting for her to come out with an album. Did y'all like Nipsey? Like Victory Lap? Yeah, yeah, that shit. That came you out You talking about that Chick State 5? That, that shit was sweet. See, I, I, I had popped that shit in, I don't know. but I couldn't really get jiggy with that shit like that. 18, 18, 18. Yeah, it's like, it's just remixes, basically. Yeah. Yeah, but yeah, as far as R&B shit, I fuck with Daniel Caesar. I fuck with her. I fuck with Summer Walker. That was that was my that was my go tos right now. So though. what's some of like your top songs of 2019, both of y'all or all one two three four of y'all? I don't know. Besides um, she, besides shy shit. Um. <laughs> <laughs> hey, shameless plug. Yeah, that nigga dope. Uh, you go check that nigga out. Deadpip dot com. Shy Hardest song motherfucking 2019 is too short, nigga. <laughs> all bitches ain't women. Niggas know that shit. <laughs> that I shit like, was sweet, um, dog. I like that song that Fabulous got. Like, I like Insecure. I think that shit was hard. Oh. Hey, look, I listen to that shit. That shit the ending, hard. the ending of that shit, cold. She was talking crazy. Hey, when she like, he's like. What the nigga say like you fucking? That's what she say. Yeah, you know that. Mm-hmm. You suck the nigga dick. That's a part of sex, ain't it? Man. What? Hey, and then the one part she fucked like the nigga that. up on. The nigga like. What did he say? You saw the nigga dick? First of all, I ain't even do it that you long. You said I couldn't even do it that long. Yeah, like I'm glad you said long. it. It was too big. Yeah, like, hey, my, the nigga like, wow, you just are you sucking just a dick. Bitch, my dick sucked. No, no. My shit, shit like One of my favorite songs was the baby at the intro. Be, the intro that shit intro. hard. Yeah. That, if I love you, then I need yeah, you. Yeah, yeah. Hey, and that, that shit uh, hard. That 2 chain shit, the number one, uh, out, number one song on there is Forgiven with uh, Marsha Ambrose. Nigga, she be making songs sweet as fuck, dog. She was on Nipsey shit. All so niggas don't fuck with my nigga uh, Young Boy Never Broke Again NBA Young Boy Yeah I like yeah, NBA yeah, yeah. Young Boy I fuck with Man young that boy. nigga cold But the new dog. niggas I fuck with I fuck with Polo G I fuck, I fuck with, with uh, Ryan Rich I fuck with Ryan Rich Hey nigga, nigga Balling is that shit nigga yeah. No, nah, that nigga, shit you put, start, you put that shit on Niggas is gonna be feel good Like I ain't got no Forges or a chip With Ryan Wave and motherfucker, oh, I just listened to it right the first away. time. I'm making a playlist for my boys team with us. Uh, you fuck with Heart for Sale? Right, right away. Huh? Heart for Sale? Yeah, that shit with uh, Dirt. No, Heart for Sale is oh, him, no. Dolo. Yeah, that shit was sweet, though. But yeah, that nigga sweet, though. He like... And you know a nigga, dog, since we talking about the little 2000 shit, dog, who don't get that respect, this motherfucker T-Pain. T-Pain? Mm-hmm. T-Pain started the auto-tune shit. T-Pain is a fucking legend out here. Niggas be sleeping on him, dog. I just discovered a new jam by T-Pain, but it's actually an old song. What I discovered is a new song I like by him. What, what, what is it? It's called, um, hold on, let me see. It's called Put It Down. What, what, what? And I never heard it. I gotta go check that. Maybe I did, or I just don't know the name of the song. Because a lot of times mm-hmm. I don't be knowing the name of the fucking songs. Do you like Doughboy? He got a song I like called Poor Rich. See, Doughboy, I know it's dead. Who's yeah. I don't fucking talk about, about Doughboy that's down with uh, Future. Future, yeah. Yeah, I ain't really never got it to. Uh, I know you talk about, yeah. but I ain't never fuck with this shit like that. So, yeah. what's the Detroit niggas y'all, y'all fuck with? I know me and Chief talk about it. Sada straight nigga. Sada Sada be going up. I like him. Yeah. He be sad. and I like F and B. Uh, I'm fucking him. Sada cold, but nigga. I was a- two niggas I'm fucking with. Like shout out to T Grizzly and my fucking Doug and shit. Yeah. Oh yeah, I like I like Doug oh, too. My nigga Cash Kid and Bad Boy Mel. Oh, yeah, Cash Kid talking here? shit though. Them yeah. niggas from around this area, matter yeah. of fact. Cash Kid be yeah. talking shit, though. Cash, Cash Kid got them bars, I nigga. Yeah, you gotta Cash Kid sure. got bars. Yeah. And then Bad Boy Mel, he kind of got like that same melodic it. style. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Man, he got some shit. Niggas, I fuck with y'all. See, I, I fuck with Payroll. Payroll always been hard to me, though. I don't know. I like Payroll. Uh, payroll, that nigga shy and um, <laughs> fucking, uh, I fuck with that nigga tough, though. Man, y'all fuck with that nigga. And um, um, I always fuck with Kid, though. For some reason, I like Kid, though. I like everybody on Dope Boy Cash out except for uh, the dark skin nigga. What's that nigga name? He trash. He Dre. Who? Dre. Yeah, he trash as fuck. <laughs> he trash as fuck, dog. Like, Big Shine the best out of these two. Who? Big Shine. Yeah, if you want to go that shit, yeah. Niggas been sleeping on Big Shine. I never fuck with Eminem. He's letting niggas sleep on motherfucking Dash Loaf. Yeah, she yeah. been sleeping, though. She's been chilling like a motherfucker, dog. 
She so, been moving around a little bit. She got a song with somebody. She had a mixtape, uh, I think. Yeah. yeah. All right, since we, t- like I said, we talking about the year and shit, how y'all feel about the whole uh, Amari and Lil Fizz shit, dog? Got to talk about it. Like, me... I think his girl. I think it's the got that girl out of line. She knew better than doing that shit. Like she popped no, off a lot of rappers. She ain't, she ain't have. I mean, she can fuck with anybody she wants to, but that was his. That was his man. Like you don't do that. Like, even if they wasn't cool, still they was working. Like they was a motherfucking. They was in the same group, same shit, running each other from ever. So you can't really. Yeah. Like some niggas. But like you know that that shit was built down the low. Yeah, but they said nigga Jay Bull fucked his mama too. I heard that shit. Dog. Wait, fuck who mama? Fizz? Mario. Mario. I heard mama. that shit. Jay Bull fucked his mama. <laughs> look, God, look, damn. Look, I, I'm not. That's the go with flow, yeah. but that's what I was reading. I don't know how true that shit is, but that's what I had stumbled upon Damn. when I was venturing upon the that's internet. Yeah. I, heard, I heard that shit too because uh, they, they said that shit happened a while ago though. Yeah, I feel like, like my thing is this: like, you my man. Even if that girl don't fuck with you no more, she's still gonna be your girl. I'm still gonna look yeah. at her as your girl. Like, right. I'm not fucking like y'all together. I'm not. Yeah, they yeah. got kids together and some yeah. shit. It'd been different. That was just like a little slide. This is his baby mama that was living together. They was in like a whole relationship. Yeah, and that's when niggas talking shit because they he did that. Yeah, shit. like it's one thing if you do it, you keep it to yourself. But when you yeah. want to do it, and you put it out there to the world. It's like, oh, yeah, I ain't never, I can't. Guess I what? Ain't like a nigga friend yeah. that much. That's why. That's when I hit okay. up my manager yeah, like, hey, much. you about to do this motherfucker? Uh, what's that shit called? What's the, y'all ain't. What's, y'all the, what's y'all the, y'all the y'all niggas tour called? Oh, Millennial Tour. Yeah, about to do that Millennial Tour. Oh yeah, ain't no B two K, just Omarion by itself. Yeah, Bow Wow. We gonna get a Bow Wow, then we gonna put your young twins and Ashanti. And, shit. and, and Chingy and Jibs Man and, he served them And, and, uh, and Jay Kwan yeah. Hell fuck yeah <laughs> <laughs> On that nigga On that nigga Was it his birthday? It was his birthday Duh. He announced Was it. you a B2K fan Back in the day? Yeah I liked the B2K yeah. But you know what I feel bad for The niggas, niggas ever had verses uh, Them other niggas They what? weren't rapping They were singing I, Fizz was a rapper I think wasn't he? Fizz rap a little something But yeah. my thing I feel bad for wasn't Cause no no, has beat. no chicks never talk about him All chicks the talk dudes about dudes did Oh, <laughs> funny as hell. <laughs> Raz B okay, at speed. <laughs> but chicks never talk about. Oh, I want to get with Raz B. It's about Jay Bug. And Chris Stokes had that on lock. No, that shit weak as hell. Pretty Ricky was better than them niggas. Hey, like, hey, hey Pretty Ricky was better. I no, like Pretty Ricky more. As a group that was yeah. better. A nigga, they, they had that one it. song. They had two Pretty? songs I fuck with. Oh, Pretty Ricky. Uh, that that on the Hotline shit uh, that Jeezy yeah. redid on this album. And yeah. then that I got my new boo on the side. Yes, oh, yeah, sir. Yeah, 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 yeah. That shit yeah. was hard. Yes. Then yeah. I seen them niggas on the Breakfast Club. Dog, the, the dark skin nigga with fat. the dreads. Yeah. Oh, nigga, wild. That's dog. the wild that nigga, man. Head. He a crackhead? He seemed like it. No, he seemed like he's just a nigga that, like, he, he, the, he the least nigga. The best be. group to me in the 2000 era was fucking Jagged Edge. This Jack niggas, Edge was cold. Them niggas never broke up. The only they, group never broke up. Jagged Edge. Jack Edge was shit. The though. brothers got to be with the brothers, and one of them niggas fought Cisco See, niggas thought, and lost. Man. No, niggas thought How you, know, how you fight Cisco and no. lose? No disrespect to Cisco. Who wants to fight the Cisco, Louis? Uh, Wingo. Ain't that the nigga name? I'm though. saying it was the dark skin. Yeah, it's one of the dark skin niggas. Not the twins. Not the twins. The other two, they thought they were brothers, but they wasn't brothers. Cisco and twins, they can't be brothers. No, the first, it was one set of twins, but you said two set of twins in the group. Yeah, dark skin niggas and light skin niggas. No, it was like one set of twins and Jack Edge. It was it was I, two sets of twins. I put them on everything. So it was two brothers. It was just one. It was just the twins. And that was it. The other two niggas was just in the group. No, I can't think you my brother, but you look like me. Yeah, I know. Cause the other, you got the one nigga with the gap, and the other nigga with the, they was they was. Them the light skin niggas, they was they was twins too. The dark skin guys one twin. Man, pull up. No, a, I can hey, pull, pull up a picture of Jack and <laughs> Edge. Cause dog, the other two niggas just she gonna do it. Cause they had only like three niggas or something. No, I'm telling you, that was both twins. Uh, I'm telling you. Jagged Edge ain't fucking with Jodeci or KZ and JoJo, even oh, yeah. though that's kind of like the same thing. Yeah, but see, it's these not. two niggas was related. These two niggas is, is the dark skin niggas brothers these, and the light skin niggas right are brothers. See, look, these two niggas is twins. Those two niggas is just niggas in the group. No, them niggas was related. Straight they up, they look just alike. I, I'm telling you, them niggas just. I could be wrong, yeah, but good. it's two sets of twins. I'm telling you. Look at them. Look at their faces. Them two look alike, and them two look alike. Them, them, they're twins. Them niggas is they in the group. If I'm wrong, nigga, y'all kill me, nigga. I'll take Don't my... they look alike? Look, Google that, nigga, Google that. look, the two set. I'm telling you, it was two sets <laughs> See, of twins. They say jagged ass twins. They got them, just them niggas. Google be wrong sometimes. They say jagged ass twins. <laughs> nah. they got two different names after that. Yeah, with some niggas governments. Look at them niggas. Right. Shit, I was like, like, I, all right, speaking of music, dog. Like I said before, uh, y'all got here, nigga. Fab is overrated in albums. Miss tapes, he a, he a goat. Albums, trash. Bars and lyrics, he a goat. Fabulous is fabulous is sweet to me. Cause yeah. he had the hardest verse in 2019 on So Brooklyn. They got but that nigga album, best production. You know, rock with it. His mistakes, that nigga be coming hard, dog. Like him and shit, the shit that he did. 
with uh, with Jetty Kiss was hard. But look, in this time, I'm saying the soul mixtape was hard. What do niggas classify albums and mixtape? Like? Cause like he just put I mean, out summertime shoot off three. Mixtape is album. Did y'all like that though? Yeah, well, summertime shoot off some mixtape yeah. or album. No, no, no. Mixtape being streamed on all platforms like an album. Yes, yeah, so, so I got it on my Apple Music. I'm shit. It's an album, as far as I'm concerned. It's on um, mixtape shit too. But that whole album was to his girl. You gotta I think. Get clear, I think you know, he. But that's probably why I like it. Yeah, okay, so let me take it a step farther. Do y'all think he really knocked this girl teeth out like he they really said? He really knocked that bitch teeth out. Man, I think I was, know, she got new teeth. <laughs> he got new teeth too. Everybody knocked each other. She got new teeth. And <laughs> I'm going to tell you what. She got that ass too. That's she crazy. do got that ass. But here's the thing. He knocked her teeth out. But she forgave him though. Yeah. Hey, but that shit fucked me up when that video came out. You seen, cause Fab just looked like a little, a nigga that be in a cut, just laid back chilling. Yeah, he when the video long. came out, when the nigga was going off, yeah. to my yeah. I want so daddy over here, yeah. all that. I'm like, that's Fab. Like, wow, yeah, yeah. Yeah. niggas that's calm like that when they pop, they be going crazy. You be like, oh, that nigga's crazy. Because they all be jumping about a whole bunch of shit once they do. Yeah, it gotta be some shit, shit for a nigga to chip the fuck out on. Hey. All right, chick. Yeah. Okay. Go what you about to say? No, I was just gonna say I think he probably punched her teeth out. He probably found out she was fucking with a nigga. That's why. Yeah, yeah. That's what I thought out. at first. It gotta be. But then when I seen the video to my her dating and shit like that, like oh it might be some I don't know. All right, now I had a question I asked earlier, dog. Uh, I don't know if Chase was here yet, but I was saying like speaking of TV shows, if you had a TV show, you was the the kid. Who would you want your parents to be? Your mom and dad. Oh, like if I was a kid, like who would I pick up? My TV, TV show parents? TV dad, yeah. Shit. Robert the Tom, Kyle, The Cosby's. So he's just the Cosby overall, the, the mom and dad? Yeah. My shit, I want my dad to be either uh, Fred Sanford or Pops. I want uh, a funny ass dad who I could just clown joke with, man. <laughs> shit, I'm so real shit, I'm gonna pick Uncle Phil because he was rich. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right, low key. I know my niggas are struggling. But no, shit. like on some real shit, nigga, it's been a lot of a lot of good black daddies and shit. Mm-hmm. Like I know niggas was talking about my nigga Carl Wins, <laughs> mm-hmm. but you got Carl Wins, low. You got motherfucking I don't remember the nigga name, but Robert Townsend from Parenthood. Yeah. yeah so I'm who was your dad, nigga? Got your dad. Who your dad? My shit, Fred Sanford, because he nigga, he let that nigga Lamont stay with him when he was forty. <laughs> my mom was old as fuck. Yeah, he was good. So the mom gonna be my dad. I think my mom gonna. Then this shit should have been like in a in a bracket where like when niggas got multiple choice yeah, type yeah. shit. I think my my mom gonna be probably uh, Claire Hustable dog. Yeah man, Claire and Bill man, they got lawyer, the doctor, the structure. Hell yeah. You know what I'm saying? They was man, hell yeah. They would have had me in college at Hillman. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so if we gonna do this then since you yo uh nah, that's the, a hard one. Yo top three. TV mom that you like, nigga, I want to bang. And your top three th- TV dads that you like, nigga, I want to look. T- I love TV that, nigga. dads that I... So my shit bang. is is D from Mo- Moesha. I only need one for this one. <laughs> my, shit, <laughs> my shit D from Moesha. Mo to the... My shit is to uh, the, Claire Hustable. She was fine as hell. I see I couldn't smash her. She would just be like, ah. I, I could mm-hmm. if she was my mom. Or what about Lisa <laughs> Ray when she was on that show with Dwayne Martin, one-on-one? Yeah, she, she was straight. But I, I think I'd go with what's the name of her, though? Um... Uh, I'm thinking about old school, so I might I might smash out the uh one of the golden girls. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> one of the golden girls. <laughs> I think we'll smash light skin and Viv, dog. And oh light skin and Viv. Hmm. I only need one more. And Viv D and Claire. Just let me get motherfucking Peggy from Married with Children. Does Peggy? <laughs> Ooh, I want a Peggy so bad. Al ain't even wanna touch her with a fucking pinky finger. Oh, I'm like, no. Al, I mean who, what? Who, who your dudes? Ch- Chase, what do? I can't even think of the. I can't think of nobody on TV that was oh, fine to me. What's one TV dad? You like? Oh, I love you, dad. I can't think of one. Shit, I really can't think of no TV dad. Man, all right. Well, who you? Who your uh? What's your top TV dads like, nigga? As far as like respected, like nigga, that nigga was a real dad. My uh, shit. I say Uncle Phil. That's number one. Yeah. Carl say, Winslow. Y'all sleeping oh. on my nigga Carl, dog. <laughs> Carl Winslow. Uncle, my shit, Uncle Phil. My shit is motherfucking... Um, the nigga uh, from Step by Step. You James, know, he a white nigga, but still, white niggas got to get credits here and there. My shit, J- my shit James Evans. The daddy off of um, them two brothers. What's the, Oh, Pops. Uh, Wayne brothers. The Wayne's brothers. Smart yeah. guy. Pops. Him too. He, he, he was a funny He my daddy. honorable mention. Sister, sister daddy. Honorable mention. I remember him. My shit, Pops. James Evans. What, what about Phil. Daddy Off Full House? Damn, he did. Danny Tanner. Yeah, he was a he good did. daddy. Yeah, he did. He had three of them. He had three of them. No, 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 no mama, nigga. Yeah, no mama. That was the like I said, white niggas got to get credit, yeah. too. I put yeah. them in there, bitch. And then, white uh, niggas. Why we call everybody this? Yeah, I put them <laughs> niggas in there. And uh, I, I I put Carl Winslow because he did look out for Steve and shit. He was next door neighbor and shit. And Andy. And, and little TJ. Hell yeah, nigga looked up for everybody, whole ass nigga. Eddie Winslow would be his own dad ass, though. 
Nigga way bigger than that nigga. You know he uh, Harriet motherfucker stepped out the window. My nigga Carl had that thing thing. Eddie get the tripper up. Bow. I'm gonna tell you what TV that. Kurt, Rashida's husband? Shit. He oh, had daddy nigga, he on TV. No, that nigga, dog. I thought nigga, the nigga was on some wild shit because he having all these kids. That nigga be fooling. I don't want no baby, though. Man, him or Rashida fooling, dog. All right, who about who your top TV moms? Sorry, um, of course you're going to say Claire Nigga, uh, old girl from the Huxtables, for sure. Yeah, Claire Huxtables. Claire. Got on that bitch. Nigga, Wayne Bros, they never even set, showed him on TV. They never showed shit. her. So, Claire Huxtables, you got to go with uh, both at Vibs as a one. Yeah. Motherfucking, um... Shit, wasn't put up with motherfucker Archie Bunker shit either, dog. Y'all know about that shit. That's so bad. Archie Bunker? <laughs> yeah, motherfucker all the family and shit either. Of his shit. Yeah, I know y'all shitted on it, but all, I like Florida Evans. Oh, no, hell no. no. I like Florida no. Evans. No, fucking mama. No, she, was, she, she was a strong black woman. No, she was a, always not a nigga. Ain't you talking about the people off of uh, Good Times? Yeah, no nigga shit. Damn, damn. damn. That daddy was funny. He was a mean ass. Favorite, he was mean. I'd be scared of that nigga. He was my pop. Oh, the, uh, the lady off of... Uh, off of uh, Wonder Years. That was my. That was my. She was. She was. She what was about a, the parents of Webster? You mean they was adopted? <laughs> dog. <laughs> I can't think. That nigga did adopt a motherfucking black ass family and shit, dog. But then you got to think about. And then what's my nigga name from uh who adopted uh what's the nigga name the little nigga Gary Cohen? Oh dog. Yeah, I forgot about them <laughs> niggas, dog. Webster and shit. No, no Webster. Different strokes. Yeah, different strokes. Yeah, different strokes. Mr. Drummond. Mr. Drummond. Yeah, Mr. Drummond. Drummond. But then, but I think if you gotta look at somebody who relates to me, my parents would be motherfucking. Um, everybody hates Chris, dog. My dad hey. was cheap. My mom was just like that, dog. Like, me as fuck, dog. No, like, yeah, and that's how I be. Like, like my kids, after some shit, I'm like, damn, man, that shit, 2039 cent. <laughs> I take you to Walmart, we get the great value brand for 103. Yeah, like, what you talking about? Hey, all right, you talking about that shit, nigga. That bootleg cereal be bootleg as hell, nigga. So that bitch touched the milk, it's already soft. It depends. Like, great value is a great brand. <laughs> I'll do a commercial with them, niggas. Like, hey. Yeah, we get the motherfucking, uh, they, they bootleg, uh, um, front, what's that? The frosted flakes. Uh, what's the shit you use? No, like, see, I don't buy bootlegs. Your cereal, cereal your cereal gotta be name brand. But certain shit you can get off brand like garlic bread, jelly. Yeah, yeah you get that shit. Yeah. Uh, jelly. You can't get. You can't get. You can't get uh, pancake mix. No, you can't. <laughs> pancake mix don't even matter. No, yeah, you can't, you can't. But you can't no, get like. No. You gotta get the real syrup. Though. You can't get like honey o's like yeah. with these. Fake you gotta get the real syrup though, cause that that bullet. No. Uh, you gotta. You gotta, you gotta. You gotta get buttermilk syrup. I get my motherfucking uh, my shit long, long cabin. No, I get the real maple syrup. I spend like nine dollars on a bottle of syrup. Mm, Damn, I, I spend like nine dollars on that's nine bottles. I get the log cabin and shit for like four. Yeah. No, get, if you gonna you gonna get the name, you, you gotta go. The, hey, Jemima though. I get log cabin cause you can't get the bullet uh, ramen noodles either though. I don't like noodles. I know they made uh, bullet ramen noodles. Yeah, you get the bullet boys. Noodles is bullet. I mean, but that should be that should get you get through some hard times. You gonna, all, you, all you need is shrimp though. Real I seen shit. somebody fix their table with them noodles. I knew I wasn't gonna eat them. <laughs> They banged them down to the table on they wood and buffed that shit off. Hey, but when Jill is making that gel like, spread, wow. that shit be looking good, though. What? The, that gel spread? Yeah. What's a gel spread? Oh, it's some little gel shit. That be like niggas in jail, man. They use Doritos, noodles, a whole bunch of shit. Slim Jim. <laughs> 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 no. Like, you, we said, look, because we privy to all this other shit, but niggas in jail, nigga, they fucking highlight as a honey uh, do y'all got? Do y'all got to pay for y'all groceries up? Because we still got the privilege of getting the bridge card. Man. No, I pay. I gotta pay. I, Cause pay. I, I wish I could get a bridge card. I should gonna cut off though, cause he said as soon as we get married, nigga, she gonna get cut off. Cause I'm, I'm not. Shit, you stay right engaged now. forever. Yeah, I'm not existence right now. So when I'm existence, you gotta just stop. Let me tell you, I had a gravy <laughs> ass deal with this man. I kept his bridge card like my own, but I just pay him for every month or whatever. Yeah. And so it was two hundred dollars on it. I would give him a hundred and ten. That was the deal. Every month I just go over there and give him his money. One time he said I gave him a fake five dollar bill. I can't make this shit up. Me and him fell out, and I ain't never had a bridge card since. And it's crazy. Goddamn. Cause you get hooked on that on that free food. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like damn, I really gotta sit here and pay two hundred and fifty dollars cash out my pocket. Man, groceries hot as hell. For real, that grocery hot as fuck. You get a couple things, nigga. You shit, then spend three hundred dollars on some bullshit. You gotta find out where to go. Like you can't be buying no meat from Kroger. You gotta go to Hell Sam's. Hell no, Kroger. you can't get no meat from Kroger's, Walmart. Kroger be right. Especially Target. Target gonna no, for you gonna Target. Yeah, I wouldn't buy shit from Target. <laughs> Man, you Target sell groceries? Yes. yes. Nigga, why are you buying groceries with Target? <laughs> I'm saying you just can't do it, nigga. Hey, like, cannot. Hey, no, you go to Walmart. Walmart. Hey, Walmart is a one-stop Walmart, shop. Walmart. I, I don't get my meat from Walmart. I get my meat from, like, the little neighborhood grocery store. Oh, so you got to get your meat, yeah, like, from the neighborhood grocery store. Yeah. Because, like, Walmart, I want, like, 
ten dollars for three pounds. You go to neighborhood grocery store, yeah. you get three pounds for like two thirty nine. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Cook that shit that same day. You ain't about to store this shit. But see, when you go grocery shopping, nigga, if you got to think about spaghetti, gonna cost you about twenty damn near dollars, dog. Just for some good ass spaghetti, cause I know I mean my spaghetti, best spaghetti in the world. You get the what most. You uh, I get half ground beef, half Italian sausages, cups and sausages, bell peppers. Get your little motherfucking sauce and shit. That should be good as fuck. I'm a true. Garlic bread should shit. Should be good as hell because he's the truth. Garlic still, knots. You still making that shit in the pot is trash. What you mean? If you ain't baking that shit like lasagna, I don't want it. That nigga said, mm-hmm. I ain't never heard of that I ain't, shit. No, I ain't baking that shit in any motherfucker ever. You ain't got to bake it. Mm-hmm. Sometimes you don't want all that cheese on it. Sometimes I just like Parmesan on mine. Yeah, sometimes you throw a little Parmesan on top of you. Yeah, shit. hell yeah. That should be good, Fuck nigga. You, nigga. But he you know white people shit when they motherfucker had shit in three different bowls and you mix that shit together, nigga. Big ass fucking uh So you ain't never make your spaghetti you but it's like the motherfucking noodles right here and the sauce right here. You yeah, like separate. Yeah, you put it. I had that, I had that a few times. That yeah, shit be good. Yeah, yeah. One time I like that. But when you do that, nigga, your sauce gotta be good. Oh, your sauce gotta be real good. Hell yeah, shit. But homemade sauce gotta be sweetest. What y'all go to this? Like, if you like, I'm gonna, I'm gonna have a dude come on. Let me go ahead and cook him something. What's shit, your shit that's been so long. <laughs> my go-to dish is, I mean, ain't no dish I make homemade, but I'll get you some jambalaya with the box. I ain't gonna hold you up, my nigga. I ain't no chef like that. <laughs> my go-to dish is whatever I can whip up in that air fryer. Dog, <laughs> air fryer, I heard that shit low-key straight, though. I love my air fryer. I get one. They, they the bottom, they are. I love it. Dog, that shit. Easy funny. clean up. All right, let me, let me, let me, we gonna go back to uh, relationships real quick. I wanna say, what's y'all rules in a relationship? Because the reason why I came up with this topic, this dude at my job said his wife can't go out after dark. What? <laughs> <laughs> I know. She, she no, can't. like if you're in a relationship, like your, your, your chick or your dude go out, like y'all gotta have a, cur- have a curfew. Like I figure like, okay, the bone, the club, get out at two o'clock. Yeah. You might motherfucker want to get something to eat. Yeah, yeah. You might have to drop people off. So be in the crib by three. Yeah. Type shit. But, but after, after dark, that nigga wife can't go nowhere. That nigga sound no like matter. that nigga who motherfucker chained his wife up. Dog, at the I end think of the night. I look at that nigga like I don't give a fuck about my uh, girl going out. Dog, as long as like I said, I know she ain't gonna be out there to, to to the latest. She probably gonna be out like eleven. Or whatever Cause I know how square she is Nigga she ain't about to be out Chilling hard 11 but... Shit I might not leave Till 11 Duh. My thing is this Don't leave out too late like Don't that. leave out this bitch at 1 yeah. If you ain't gone already You ain't going at So what time your dude Gotta be back at the crib He, I don't, he don't got no time And now he ever had to be home Damn. I don't he come home like the I, next morning. You cool with that? No, I'm not. not saying this thing. <laughs> you know, you got to exercise. You, you know what I'm saying? Your common sense now. Here's the thing. You go out. You're doing whatever. You know what I'm saying? Live life. Don't come up in here at 6 o'clock in the morning. That's crazy to me. Yeah, hell you know yeah. what I'm saying? Because I might come home at 3, 30, 4 o'clock and I literally won't be been doing shit. You know what I'm yeah. saying? I don't want him saying nothing. So, and don't call me while I'm out. I'm going to call you while you out unless you need. See, Live your yeah, life. Yeah, hell yeah. But you yeah. come in here at like 6, it's crazy. But he come in like 3, 3.30, I don't care. Hell yeah. Yeah, cause my thing is like that. Like you don't want to sit here and be all be no motherfucking nag calling motherfuckers like dog, where you at? What you doing? Yeah. What time you coming? Like I, hate that shit. I would call yeah. if it's late and I know he was out gonna get food and I'd be like, Look, can you bring me some? Cause I know he gonna get yeah. food, I'll call late. Yeah. Otherwise. Cause my thing I don't wanna do it, I'll be like, dog, when I'm out, I wanna be able to just be able to chill without you blowing my shit up. So Man, that's shit, when she go, I'll be happy as hell, especially if the kids go on, nigga be my drug, watching basketball games, nigga chilling like Nigga stinking and shit Ain't got where I take a little shower and shit Nigga I'd be happy Stupid a good time <laughs> When my girl was in Milwaukee That was the best time ever Nigga I was going to work Nigga come right home Then take a little shower And went to bed Nigga like Ain't <laughs> 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 no like that space Like you be so sleepy Nigga like You ain't about to get a shower Like nigga fuck Nigga said Stank sleep I ain't never heard no shit I ain't never heard that in my life Over the motherfucking bed Nigga just stinking Fuck it nigga You be missing that shit sometimes That stank sleep nigga <laughs> that should be, be crazy. You, you be missing all shit like that. Like, you relationship, you gotta make sure you clean and shit. Make sure everything's You gotta do that anyway. You do. But when you by yourself, you shit, fuck it, nigga. I'm gonna go to What's bed. What's wrong with your brother? I'm gonna go to bed stank tonight, nigga. I remember when she was in Milwaukee, I was coming from Chrysler, hoop practice, went home, ate, went to bed. <laughs> so Charlie, right, that's more like this felt good. Like nigga, I was in business sleeping, nigga. Like you miss your bed when you be in a relationship and you got kids, dog. Especially young kids, they wanna get to bed with they you. They wanna sleep with you. She all on you, it's hot like god damn. Man, kind of no, and females be thinking you being rude when you do that. It's like, right. no, like, I'm hot. Yeah. Like, scoot the fuck over. Get your <laughs> arm off me. Like, I am not like that. I'm damn. Not like, I'm all, like, once, listen, I'll cuddle with you for a couple minutes. That's cute. But when I'm yeah, about to go couple, to sleep, like, you know, get, go ahead on. Like, we cut off here. We about to fuck real quick, then. That's it, nigga. Like, I don't want to do it. I don't right. think we going to cuddle just to be laying down. Like, damn, we just cuddle with it. Like, niggas <laughs> be wanting to cuddle. I don't care what you say. I, niggas be wanting to cuddle. Really? Hell yeah, niggas be wanting to like, cuddle. If it's cold as fuck, you just get in the house. Like, 
Like for a hot second, just to warm up. Like, all right, motherfucker, get over it. Same thing. Like your arm heavy. Get your arm off of me. Like, trying to sleep. Motherfucker, Irby dead. That bitch. Like, god damn. Like, damn. I just love blood. Trying to get some sleep. It'd be funny to get that motherfucker ass. That ass touch the ass. Like, damn, your ass cold. I <laughs> <laughs> call booty in the middle of the night. Nigga, <laughs> hey, hey, ass touch the ass. <laughs> oh, shit. Hell no. But what if your crack got no ass? It's all back. Like, damn, your back cold. <laughs> you damn. <laughs> what is wrong with you? Man, you got a turkey butt ass shit. Hey, that'd be the worst, though, when you laying with your girl, your motherfucking thing, your heart, you'd be like, oh, no, that's night. You'd be like, damn. <laughs> but ain't that a part of cuddling? I thought like females want to cuddle because they want to feel your shit jump up. Wait, wait, Sometimes no. you be trying to contain that motherfucker like, cuz this ain't the thing. I, I'm really tired. I want to go to sleep. Yeah. Hold on. Have you, as, as a nigga though, do you be sleepy sometimes? Like, dog, I don't want to fuck around. Dog, it be like that. But if, <laughs> if you if you deny your chick of that, she gonna think you fucking somebody. Here's else. the thing. Your girl told you no. She don't feel like it tonight. One time she was just sleepy. I told her, I was like, I'm sleepy, cuz. I would, man. I don't know. Hell no, we no. fucking. All right, let me tell you this though. I think this. This is what I think. If you fucking the same girl for the rest of your life, mm-hmm. I think it should be a gap, in, not a, a long gap, but if it's a week, fuck Monday. Let's fuck again on Wednesday. Fuck again on Saturday. Like it should be. Every, I don't want to plan it out. Every no, we ain't plan it out, but I don't want to fuck you every day because then I'm like, damn, here go that pussy. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. Nigga <laughs> <laughs> said, damn, here go that pussy. <laughs> Dog, but like, if you take a gap, you miss the pussy like damn. All right, look, so so like oh, it's, se- it's seven shit. days in a week. Yeah. All right, both of y'all give answer me, this. Give me How three. many times in one week? Give me think? Give me three days. And I ain't talking about back to back ones. I'm just talking about just regular getting it in. Give me three days. I don't know. It depends on if I'm in the mood. Sometimes I might be in the mood to fuck every day. Then sometimes I might not be in the mood to fuck. At all, like yeah. you know what I'm saying? Like I might just be on some chill shit. Man, give me three you know, days. I just kind of depend on how I'm feeling. I want to be a miss. Like damn, I, damn, that shit feels good. I ain't had it in, like three days. Like especially if this is a person I'm sleeping with every fucking day. I know how pussy feel. I know what the, we gotta do. I know every fucking in and out in that bitch. Everything, nigga. I know the name of it, nigga. <laughs> I know everything about it, nigga. So let me let me miss it for like three days, then get back to it. Cause I think that that's gonna fuck a relationship. But like damn, man. oh fuck, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. Nigga, damn. Hey, that's right. But yeah, man, like, you gotta separate that shit, though, because, like, you get tired of your chick at the wild, nigga, every day, nigga. Like, gotta, <laughs> I, you ain't gotta make no plan, like, you know what, Tuesday? Come in, come in bed with no fucking no drawers on. Come on, we going at it. But nigga, you gotta just, nigga, just let that shit just be a little gap. Let me miss that pussy and shit. Don't let me just, that's like, right, motherfucking get that regular motherfucking pussy. Matter of fact, you can turn to another person real quick. Turn to Ernest Thing. Just say Ernest Thing. <laughs> Go ahead and do your thing. My thing is this, like, are you, a, you a female, do you got. You come be with lingerie on or some shit like that? Sometimes. My thing is, you waste your money with me. You come in that bitch nigga, with a motherfucking long ass t shirt. I know that bitch come up, nigga. We good. We fuck. That's, <laughs> listen, niggas is really, really simple for real. Like, yeah. I, I, I've learned that. But no, I mean, sometimes, yeah, shit. Yeah. Damn, but do I, I don't know. I'm taking that bitch off. I don't know if I want to. I don't know. You should, you should be wasting your money like that. I mean, I mean. <laughs> So. What about you, Cheese? You want somebody to come in that bitch with some special shit on your birthday drawers or something? Yeah, I, mean, I, I didn't make that. <laughs> but no, like it's on some real shit. Like, like a lot of times, like, like don't put, don't we finna fuck? Don't go in the bathroom with that shit on. It's gonna come right off. But like, do that shit. Like, say for instance, if we finna be chilling around the cut. Yeah. And then like we gonna be, we you about to cook first, yeah. or I'm finna cook first, or we about to watch a movie type shit. So yeah. while we drinking, my whole mind keep on something. I'm like, damn. Oh, I can't wait the motherfucker. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Then that's when that's when it goes back to like, oh shit, she got me rocked up like a center block in the wintertime type shit. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So it about to go down. <laughs> so it all depends, but like, don't put that shit on like we already four point. Like, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Nah, wait, you wait, man. That. And then you go in the bathroom, change that shit, and it's like, nah. Come Cause on. I don't, I don't want my girl announce like tonight is the night. Like, come on, that's that's the shit happening. Don't like some shit like yeah. it's like. Y'all, y'all you know what I'm saying? If, if y'all got kids together, I'm yeah. just speaking for you in your in your situation. Yeah. Mm-hmm. The kids gone. Yeah. Then it's like, all right, shit, we gonna motherfucking kick back. We about to watch uh what's them slimming? Who who, who the motherfuckers? The Slim Queen. Queen and Slim. Queen and Slim. <laughs> like, I got that shit on fire stick download. I'm like, all right, best. So y'all got y'all night. What you wanna eat? What you wanna drink type shit? Yeah, yeah. So he's like, all right, shit, I just got back from the grocery store, babe. I'm finna get in the shower. Yeah. And he like, all right, Ben, I'm about to Cut these onions type shit. Yeah, yeah. So she motherfucker take a shower. She throwing some little Victoria's Secret or some Bed Bath and Beyond <laughs> shit. And then she like, all right, baby, you go get it. I'm finna cut up the tomatoes. And then she just walk past you, just nonchalant. And you like, 
<laughs> Damn! So you in the shower the whole time? Like, oh wait, I can't wait. So the, the whole time it's like, yo, yo, man, just building up. Yeah. But man, it's not time to fuck. Yeah. Y'all still gotta eat. Y'all yeah. still gotta drink. Y'all yeah. still gotta watch this movie. Yeah, yeah. So you probably not even focused on none of that other shit. You just thinking like, damn, my baby looking so good. I might tear that ass up. Yeah. You probably like, I might eat some ass tonight for the first time. Type shit. <laughs> I eat ass I'm tonight. just saying, my nigga, that shit gotta build up. Yeah. But you can't just be like, we we already. Like my dick to down there slid and you like hold on hold on I'm about to no, go you don't, I'm about to go to the bathroom then you come out in the lines right it's like ah oh, come on fuck all that yeah, that ain't how you I know already motherfucking man. test the waters man. I know it's ready for me what you about to say uh, Chase no, I was just saying you don't do it like that that's that's defeating the purpose it's more yeah. like what he said you just have to have that shit on you know what I'm saying yeah. you just doing whatever I like the shit sometimes I'll be in the, in the crib watching a game like watching motherfucking motherfucking the bar and them get off like and then you know be like damn and the pussy in three the haze. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's like in that, in that like, that's like in that instance like the kids probably yeah. gone or they went to bed early, yeah. so it's like kind of late. So you watching the game, she yeah. in the room. And then so she so she like she just walk past, go to the refrigerator. You watching the motherfucking the game, and you just next thing you know, the ass you just follow that like. <laughs> but then damn. Wait, 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 before I thought you be like, she ain't got no pussy in while I go in the room. Get the color one and shit with the hard rock on and shit like mm -mm. oh not tonight I'm, oh shit I'm on that period like what damn hey, what's, what's she saying you period, don't know what she period, doing period, period. Don't know I do though but then sometimes you be like that shit hit you unexpectedly like what what today but she oh, said the period no, don't stop nothing but a sentence yeah man that's when that's when <laughs> that bitch and be like going wait off, whatever. <laughs> oh, yeah. that shit stop my sentence nigga. my shit be stopped nigga like I, that one time, that's just no, but like, and that that be like seven instances. You y'all like you and you you been on the living room in the living room watching TV all <laughs> night, and she sleep in the bed. Oh, so in the night you go in there, and she got like one leg off the covers, one leg out the covers, yeah, cocked yeah, up with the baby right, shorts yeah, on. You, be you like, like, yeah, oh shit, yeah. But see, my girl yeah. got drawers on. I kind of know it's period time because she be having drawers on. When she ain't got no, when she ain't got no drawers on, she ain't you know what I'm saying bad. We good. Hit that back door. Mm -hmm. When you got that drawers on? <laughs> when you got that drawers on. Like, oh, it must be period time. Period? All right. All right. I'll holler at you tomorrow. <laughs> but you be happy. I'm times that. No. I ain't gonna lie. This last period she had, I was happy as fuck. I thought I had slipped up and shit a week ago and shit. <laughs> <laughs> hey, but, but look, look. I'm telling you. That's your fiance. That's your that's your future wife. I'm gonna just go ahead and say uh, that. You be happy as hell. Like, damn. Did I, did I pull out on time? And Man. then, but it was two months in a row she had a period. Oh. Like, oh, I'm good. You know, that first period could come. And you might as well just do like DMX yeah. and Belly, run that red light, smoke Duh. weed. No, it is silly. I'm already speeding. I don't give a fuck. No. But one time I'm hitting, and you know, you pull out, but I'm like, damn, then I don't think no cunt, no cum came out. That must be her left hand pussy. So we asked, like, hey, yo, will you wipe yourself just pussy? What's the motherfucker? What's the cum? Is the cum coming? You guys are coming, that bitch? Because she scared me. One time she woke up, like, uh, yeah, I woke up, my drawers were still, they had coming, that bitch, like, oh, fuck. So you think about the whole nine months, like, it's July, August, September. <laughs> you planned it already, like, damn, my fuck. Damn, <laughs> So this last two times you gave her a period, I was happy. Like, oh, you in a period? Now I'm in that bitch geek like now. I'm doing tight woods, nigga like hey, hell but, yeah. Hey, but just because she had her period don't mean that it's But look, this is the second month. I'm just saying now, like first month, the first time. Yeah, it's like the first month, I'm like, alright, it's still a chance. Second yeah. month, oh hell yeah. Hell yeah. <laughs> like, we plan on having another one though, but I didn't want this one. Oh. Especially before we get married. She made that bitch with my fucking belly. I do. Niggas will be thinking like, this nigga marry her because she pregnant, cuz. Shit. <laughs> oh, man. If somebody see a period, you be happy, like, oh, yeah. Are you bleeding? You be smiling, like, what's your smile for? Shit, I thought I came in that pussy real quick, so. You good, nah. I was scared the last time. I was gonna call Q, like, cause he like, none of that feel. I was scared as fuck, dog. Oh, uh, shit. How y'all feel about that shit, though? What? Like, nigga. If I have more if, kids? If you think you're pregnant and shit, but then you come in that period, you be happy. Nah, uh -uh, I don't play like that. I don't play them games. Hell yeah. What about you, though? You be happy about that shit sometimes? Man, I ain't worried about that shit. <laughs> no times. Because my thing, once you start fucking raw, you ain't, ain't gonna put no condom on. I think you cheating on me if you ask me to put a condom on that I beat for a fucking whole year raw. And now you like, uh, you gonna put a condom on? Nigga, what? Hey, the funniest shit. That shit ain't gonna feel right. I ain't gonna say no names, but two of my niggas, they was capping on each other, dog. And a nigga told a nigga, like, nigga, you still fuck your wife with a condom. And that shit was just like. <laughs> Niggas ain't think about it, but like once it dawn, like nigga, why you fucking your wife with a condom? Why? <laughs> he don't want her to get pregnant. 
Man, it was just he could just pull out. like we we don't really know if that was the the real issue, but just the nigga said it like it was just it's funny as fuck. Like, fuck yeah. Yeah, you, that should be funny. But then you go to, to a girl raw off the rip like nigga, you try from cub. I mean, I, sometimes I had to slip that shit off though. Like I mean, one time one chick dog was hit dog, and she was hitting the shit with the condom. And then next thing I know, like damn, I can't feel this shit. I slid that bitch off like. Stroke, like, nigga. <laughs> do it really make a difference? Did she, did she know? No. Nope. Oh, that I should have asked yeah, her that. Really like, do like do females know like when a nigga like when the condom break? Do <laughs> females know when the condom break or like when a nigga just take that bitch off? Like ah, fuck this bitch. You can tell because it start feeling it start feeling different. You know. We feel bad for y'all too. And yeah. then and then like this might be it's a, probably more like a look. This might be a little thing, too no, far, but I'm gonna ask it anyway. What? When a nigga shoot that club up, do y'all feel that too? <laughs> nah. I don't, I can't. I can feel it after, like when he pull it out. Like, you can feel it, like okay, I know. That cream pie. It's just like, what? <laughs> I mean, I've heard, I've heard women say they can feel it squirting and shit. Yeah, I've heard it. So I, don't I know. heard, I heard girls say they can feel you for the cum because, like, yo, your motherfucking shit start tingling and shit. Duh. Yeah, no, I don't, I don't, um, I don't think I can feel it when it's like happening right then. But I know afterwards. I knew I had my first one. I knew I fucked up. I'd be like, oh shit, I fucked up. Hey mom, I get you. Better have a grandkid. I knew off the rip, like right at the day after, nigga. Like, I mean, a day of, like, damn, she pregnant, though. I fucked up. I ain't pull that shit out right. That's, that's cut from all them times with them bad pussies I had. So I just <laughs> bad pussies. <laughs> so once I finally got some consistent good one, it was like, damn, I ain't shot the club, but fuck, I ain't getting no practice in eating all that pussy. All right, <laughs> 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 so we about to go ahead, man. We been this bitch for a minute, dog. Give me y'all, uh, y'all jump moment or y'all high moment, man. Who oh. wanna start it off? Or y'all want me to start? You go ahead. You go first. What's your drunk moment? I mean, I ain't told a couple of them, but let me see if I can. Oh, high moment. Either one. Uh, the one that I can sit here and think of that I did. Since it's the last show of the year, it's gotta be your number one. Yeah, like, it gotta be the, the big, the Because you done told a few, obviously, so it's gotta be your number one drunk moment. Yeah, yeah I mean, this it might not make y'all laugh and shit, but my number one was, was walking and shit because I was drunk as fuck. I was walking like a motherfucker and shit. <laughs> But I could say like one of them, the ones I remember the most, it might not be funny y'all, but I was, uh, my first time drinking with this nigga Hood Howard Stern and um, his brother, my uncle Tom, his homeboys and shit. We in uh, this nigga Suburban and shit. So we go ahead and get the motherfucker. This is my first time drinking, so I want to show them niggas like, I'm ready and shit. I'm, I'm good. I can do it. Okay. So we in the Suburban. I'm in the back seat because I'm the little nigga so I get the last row. So we go inside the uh, store, we get a motherfucking uh, gallon of that fucking Scott Vodka and shit. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so we in that bitch drinking, passing around. They on their first one sipping. I'm, I ain't killed two of them. My like, nigga, I'm good. Nigga, I don't give a fuck about this shit, cuz. So then the third one, I killed. They, they just on their second one. So by the time we got the truck to go in this cabaret, nigga, my legs already got the noodle feel, nigga. Like, that's how I know I'm drunk. I got shit on my legs shake. Okay. So I'm drunk, nigga. I'm fucked up. So we go inside the cabaret. It's, it's all of fucking four people in this cabaret. Mm-hmm. Fucked up. So we go ahead, we leave out that mud because it's dead. We heading back to my nigga G crib and shit, but while we driving, while this nigga hood, I was starting driving the freeway going up and down, like from right to left. Mm-hmm. So I'm fucked up. So we go drink some more. So then we like, fuck, we going to the casino. Go to the casino. So you know how you about to get that throw up feel or whatever. So I'm trying to find this bathroom. It took me 10 minutes to find a bathroom. Finally find a bathroom. I know cheesy, you know, like the urinals and shit. I ain't throw up in the regular toilet. I threw up in the urinal. Okay. In front of everybody, so everybody pissed. I'm in mean, bitch, ah, going ham and shit, throwing the fuck up, damn, throwing up everything, nigga. So then I'm trying to find this nigga Hood Howard Stern again. I ain't did about y'all know MGM and got that little middle piece with a bar at. Yeah, I ain't walked around that motherfucker eight times looking for these niggas. Call this nigga. This nigga see me, but he laughing. He ain't tell me he right there by me. So this nigga has seen some chicks from Ohio. They all like trying to link up, I guess. But I'm in that bitch. Me and this nigga Tom dead. So. This nigga trying to talk to the girls and shit, but they like, dog, your homeboys look like they dead. We ain't about to fuck with y'all. So we fucked up some for show pussy on that shit. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I go to the crib. I'm throwing up in the in the tub. I'm throwing up in the toilet. I'm throwing up in the sink everywhere. Damn. Like, that's how much liquor I had. That's why I bought the pizza today, because I ain't eat shit. Mm-hmm. I was fucked up. So that was just a fucked up moment, man. That, that ain't the, the, the best one, but that was like one that I remember, because that was my first time getting drunk with some niggas who was older than me. My story when I was the most one time I was the highest I'm about to tell you I was smoking with uh him and your mama. <laughs> oh, and, you fucked up there. And I'm talking about man, I went straight from work. I still had on my work clothes. We sitting there. I'm talking about we had to smoke eight blunts. Man, hell yeah. I don't even know how I did it, and I wasn't drinking nothing. I'm just high, so I'm leaving. And so I'm about to get ready to get on the freeway. I'm getting on 94, so I'm flying, flying about to get on the freeway. Here comes a car coming right at me. 
I'm going off and shit telling them like this stupid motherfucker coming up the wrong way on on the freeway. It's me. I'm going down the exit oh. ramp, flying down the exit ramp, going down 94 below. Oh my god! I'm so happy that that car came. Y'all know I was finna go flying down that ramp to oncoming traffic Damn. on the fuck the 94 freeway. Yeah, he gonna be poor. high, blow. Then I got to laughing after that shit. I called Quinn, said you ain't gonna believe this shit. <laughs> Duh. I was high as hell. That's fucked up. You blow. Yeah, blow. You blow. blow. What about what about you, cheese? I know you gave one. You got another one. Shit, dude. this is like I was still in high school and shit, dog. I motherfucking got Colt 45 in this hand. <laughs> Colt 45. And got Christian Brothers in this hand. And we just going back and forth drinking these bitches. We in my nigga Jugger Boy basement on Balfour and shit. Yeah. Nigga, it was a bathroom down there. It was, and it was all young niggas down there. So when a nigga go to the bathroom, nigga just pissing. Dog, I was so toe back, nigga. I was hugging the toilet, like, man, I ain't give a fuck. Like, I was fucked up. And nigga, niggas all keep coming in there, like, oh, look at nigga cheese, he fucked up. And I'm just like, and then I hear niggas like, oh man, we about we about to take this nigga and put him on his doorstep and ring the doorbell type shit. Right. And then my one, my one nigga told my man, I'm about to just take the nigga home, man, he fucked up. Uh-huh. And I'm, I'm out of, of it. That, yeah, but I'm, I'm just fucked up. I'm like, dog, I'm, I'm motherfucking on some old wobbly. Fucking drunken match and shit. I'm like, dog, any of y'all niggas coming here, I promise you, I'm throwing up on every nigga in the vicinity, nigga. Get the fuck away from me. But I was so fucked up just hugging that nasty ass toilet, um, dog. dog. Coke 45 hey, and Christian Brothers. And I had to be about about 19, 18. And I wasn't even no drinker back then. I was a nigga who's always smoking. Like, yeah. and to this day, I wouldn't even drink no fucking Christian Brothers, man. man. But that toilet feels feel good. That toilet feels good when you motherfucking drunk, nigga. That bitch be cold. No, you just, nice you just hold, that hold on to that bitch, nigga. Just, <laughs> and you just lay your arm right there. You got to throw up. You just drop that. <laughs> You ain't even throwing up shit. Your insides just fucking feel like fucking macho man bear hugging you type <laughs> shit. Like, damn, I'm fucked up. I don't know Dog. if I did nothing extra crazy when I was drunk, but I guess I have. I could think of something. I'm not going. I'm not going. You ain't had no girls going wild moment or no shit like that? Nah. Poor T. Uh, yeah. No, I nothing like that. <laughs> I, I did some crazy shit, but I'm not going to say it on this podcast. Yeah. Cut um, the cameras. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but I'm going to tell you something somebody else did, though. So, like, I guess I should call him my ex. Whatever. Yeah. So, anyway, this nigga was so drunk. So, we sleep. He get up to go to the bathroom or whatever. Get up and just walk over to the corner. Imagine the bathroom door is right at the bedroom. Like, it's a bathroom in there, whatever. Yeah. He goes to the door of the bathroom, stands right in the corner, and just start peeing. Man. Got back in the bed and went to sleep. I was like, this nigga just pissed Duh, on the floor. How drunk, drunk are you? As fuck. How drunk are you? Get him out the bed and go pee on the floor. Man, it's, he drunk as fuck. That's At least he didn't pee in the bed. <laughs> no, and then he peed, he peed on the floor another time. He was just stood up. We was... <laughs> He was in, a, in like in a lip, like in a den or whatever. He just stood up and just started peeing. No, no, no. To funny shit. For some reason, I used to try to hide when I was drunk in front of my girl because I always had this plenty of proof that I wasn't drunk. What? So we come in the house and first thing she do, she take about four showers a day. So we come in the house, she take a shower. So I, I throw up in the motherfucker like three plastic bags, tie a bitch up and threw out the window. So the next day we go out and say, like, what the fuck is this bag? It's just thing. I'm like, I don't know what the fuck that shit is. All my throw up in that bitch, dog. I'm in the sink just throwing up, tie that bitch up, throw that bitch. And I know I threw that bitch by her motherfucking car, nigga. Like, <laughs> just, to prove, just to prove the point that I motherfucking ain't drunk, dog. Like, I don't know what the fuck I was thinking, dog. <laughs> I don't know. Fucking retarded. Shit, stupid as hell. Yo, this nigga a weirdo. <laughs> I threw a bag of throw them outside, nigga. Just threw that bitch, nigga. That shit funny. You can ask her, nigga, right tomorrow if she could. But shit, man. Hey. <laughs> Hey, speaking of that shit, though. What, oh, so, what y'all motherfucking? I, speaking of, what the fuck? I'm, I'm drunk. But what y'all motherfucking? What y'all planning for 2020? Like niggas be having all these motherfucking. Uh, I hate when niggas write shit down on Facebook. And nigga, they just go about that shit for the first ten days and just be back on their regular dumb shit. Like, what's some goals y'all got for this year? Ain't gotta be nothing major. Like, what's some shit that y'all? Like, personally, like, like I want to get improve every fucking year. So, what's some shit y'all got? Um. Well, for sure, I want to get me a new car. That's what's up. I'm getting a new car. That's that's us. It's done. Um, what else? Um, I want to start my YouTube channel because I've been saying I was gonna do it, so I'm gonna do a YouTube channel. What's gonna be talking? What's gonna be about? Like, what's that you want? Uh, you gotta wait to see. All right, all right, we guys. And um, what else? I got like a whole list of things that I'm gonna do or whatever. Yeah. Cause we want to look back and think like like if we all decide we literally gonna do this next year, this same time. Like, what? 
would I want to come back and say I accomplished. Like, I don't want to just come back and be doing the same shit. Hell yeah. Mm -hmm. So, mm -hmm. I just want to be the best version of me. Like, that's why I'm making a little bit of a change. I told you I won party in this year from New Year's. I was going to actually go to church. Yeah. Yeah. So. See, hey, I don't know where you fuck around with the parties on New Year's. You always fuck around mm -hmm. family. Because I heard that it's bad luck to bring the New Year in without your significant other. Really? Yeah. So that's it's bad luck if you don't wash your clothes before you. Yeah, that too. To that too. You gotta clean up the house, wash your clothes, like, and all you that can't shit. Can't no dirty clothes. Yeah, my mom said that shit. You go to New Year with you know it fucked up. So my shit, my mom told me you always supposed to come into New Year with your significant other. So it be times I want to fuck around, go somewhere she don't want to go. So I be like, fuck, I'm at the crib. Okay. But this year we gonna be at her family crib, and have a little like little gambling night, shit like that, game night, shit. So it be straight. Okay. What, what's, what's your what's your what's your shit, man? What's some shit you want to get accomplished next year, dog? Man, shit, just make the day. I better than yesterday, dog. Like yeah. I ain't one of them niggas who be, be resolution. Oh, new year, new me, cause yeah. Yeah. I, I'm, 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 like, I'm about to quit. I'm about to quit doing this. Like nah, man. It's just like dog. I'm trying to motherfucking grow as I go. Yeah. Plain yeah. and simple. Hell yeah. yeah. See, my my shit just man. And so far, like, so good. I nigga, she just said, just be a better you, dog. Be a better father. Uh, shit, just a better person and shit, man. Get this podcast, nigga. Do more shows of this shit, dog. Have that shit blowing up. Uh, do some little music shit Next year my last year If that shit don't Take off how I want to I'm done with that shit I'm gonna be a ghost writer uh, mm -hmm. <laughs> The clothing line gonna, t gonna jump off That's gonna I ain't gonna tell y'all The name of it But it's gonna be for kids mm -hmm. I got the name Everything I'll get my man To make the logo mm -hmm. It's gonna be for kids only Cause everybody do clothing But it be for adults yeah. So I'm doing my shit Just for girls and boys and shit mm -hmm. That shit gonna be In the summertime so That's what's up Besides that Just keep pushing man Like try to get Motherfucking Of course make more money Yeah That's the number one thing And shit just keep pushing Like that's it. That's my goal too to save me some more money, man. Cause yeah. I, I already, I already started doing it. Like I already started saving, but I'm gonna just continue that. Cause yeah. I actually want to see the amount that I, I want to save by a certain time. You know. Hell yeah. Stop and, blowing money. On and shit, man. And then one thing I ain't gonna say for the New Year, but just start supporting like black motherfuckers, dog. Like yeah. And they business. Like I seen some shit yesterday. Like niggas say whenever a black person got a company, niggas always try to get a discount on that shit. But you pay full price for some, you know what I'm saying, yeah. some white t-shirts. Yeah. Like, yeah. I, could, I could be selling t shirt like, hey, Sha, man, come on, man, grab this t-shirt at 30. Oh, man, come on, man, I, I got 20. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But yeah. nigga go to motherfucking Louis Vuitton and spend three bags easily. Don't even yeah. ask for a discount. Right. Yeah, hell yeah. You know you ain't getting one. Hell yeah. So, yeah, it's so our support, like, nigga, support uh, my homegirl I did an interview with the other day, uh, her shit, Detroit, though. Uh, so support my nigga uh, Dayson He got the uh, Black Love is Power shit Support my producer He got uh, Part of my east side Go ahead and Get some clothes From that shit My brother Classic Pot Head Get some clothes Just support niggas Like nigga, yeah. Show love And shit like that Like it don't cost Nothing to show some love You yeah. feel me So just do that shit Support all my shit You feel me Cause this is the best Podcast in the city Anybody fuck with me All y'all niggas Shit be dead For the most part <laughs> yeah. like, You know what I'm saying My shit be the truth yeah. Besides Uh Besides E Block Radio shit, my shit the, the truth and shit, cause but so, y'all under the same umbrella, so it's yeah, kind of so like the truth together, yeah. yeah. It's like fam. So what's what 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 we gonna end it all like this? Dog? Each one of y'all, y'all got some like a saying or some shit y'all want to say like shit, suck my dick or or, <laughs> or nigga, niggas need to stop I, saying suck I, my I, dick, yeah, dog. I'm surprised. Hey, you know what y'all niggas need, need to retire, dog? The whole yo, what the fuck y'all mad picture for? I'm tired of niggas throwing middle fingers up in pictures, dog. Oh, I, I, I did that. <laughs> I did that a though. lot. Yeah, I ain't gonna shit like yesterday. I'm tired of that shit. That's what y'all mad for. I'm tired of the peace sign. I throw that shit a lot. Like, stop, like, when stop. we take this picture, I'll probably go throw a peace sign. Why you don't smile? Fuck you mean. Oh, uh, the reason why I'm smiling pictures is because I never knew how when I was a little kid. Um, every picture I had looked crazy. I said, fuck, I'm never gonna smile. Okay. So I'm trying to figure out. <laughs> I'll be a member of practice because I know when we get married, we gotta take pictures. So all my the... niggas don't do this no more in pictures. Or it is <laughs> niggas do this shit back hey, in the day. Hey, the little kids be doing that shit though. That's that bad. What the fuck? This shit used to make. What was like? Fuck you and this like fuck know. you bitch or some shit like. <laughs> Why people don't do what's that? Yeah, yeah, I do Eastside shit. I do Eastside. East 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 I always throw up the falls in my shit. Oh, yeah. So what is it for? I mean, Balfour. that's where I'm from, Balfour. Uh -huh. Yeah, my shit. This is East Warren, East Warren shit, because that's where I'm from. Uh -huh. But yeah, I try to stay with me. Yeah. So yeah. So what y'all? What y'all got? What's what's something y'all want to tell motherfuckers in, in 2020? Like my shit, just nigga, just just my shit, just grinding, keep grinding. In 2020, stop um, doing it for the gram. I'm oh, tired mm. of y'all. Y'all yeah. bullshitting, y'all fake that shit, man. Just stop. please they not help. Can't, can't help it. I'm yeah. tired of it. My shit is... Uh, fucking like, tired of like, it. Like, with you, my, my shit is stop clout chasing, dog. Stop doing stop shit for a fucking white like, though. Like. Stop, stop all that. All that sweet. Man, my shit I have to say is, man, your motherfucking <laughs> business 
and make moves and not announcements. Yeah. Oh, hell yeah. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Make That's moves it. and not announcements. Oh, and uh, shit, where can they follow uh, you on social media? <laughs> 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 uh, I'm ghost when it comes to that type of shit. Um, uh, you can follow me on Instagram, Chase West. is Chase underscore West. Okay. Oh, right. one. Chase underscore West one. Okay, okay. Hey, uh, you follow Cheesy when he out there and shit. Whenever, he, wherever he at, he be there. Just hit a nigga who know a nigga who know me, and then I'm gonna get back. You still, you still talking about doing that? Uh, the uh, the TV shit, the movie shit. Write the script and shit. I don't even know what you're talking about. Right you said that shit last podcast. You yeah. Nah, <laughs> uh, I don't even fucking know right now. Do it, what, you go, you gonna drop a uh, project, nigga? Yeah, nigga, drop project, cuz. Uh, oh yeah, my nigga, uh, Suge Knight Shy. Yeah, yeah. He told me that I'm, I'm gonna rap again. I'm be he gonna be at least a feature or something, dog. And my shit, like I said, y'all follow me at uh at Shy S H A D D six two four uh Shy vs A by podcast. No Shy vs A by underscore podcast. Uh shit, Facebook, you know they with Shy Sterling. And uh shit, if you ain't learned nothing from this podcast, learn that. Don't start off eating pussy before you fuck. <laughs> uh, don't go in raw because you gonna always wanna go in raw. And uh see I guess you eat the ass once you get married and shit. Alright, then peace out. <laughs> <laughs>